Good day, good day, welcome, welcome to another Friday night. Fucking high five, fucking fist bump that shit. Go on, one, two, three. <laughs> Fuck yes, welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, joining me tonight on the Friday show is Mozza. Welcome, Mozza, everyone. Fuck yes, Mozza. Yeah, good day, everybody. It's good to be here. Good to be here, Oz. I'm, uh, I'm fired up. I'm excited. Yeah, well, we got another packed show this week, Moz. Uh, yes. Tonight we're going into tech. The Good. world of tech. Uh, yep. And uh, uh, we're going into strange news. Good. Uh, we're going to do a critical analysis of the woman who took a shit in the Tim Hortons coffee shop. Wait, wait. Up there, breaks. up there in Canada. A, a, a woman took a shit. Yep. We'll get to that story soon. Okay. That's coming up on the program. Okay. And uh, we're going to end with a Deadpool 2 review. So that's not coming for a while. So don't be scared of spoilers for like at least another hour. Or yeah. so I reckon. Then Mike. get scared of sport. Then get scared and go fuck, 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 fuck. But until then, you're fine. All good. We're yep. just talking about a poo in a coffee shop and uh, tech. Good and and that, that's already spoiled. Yeah, that's because we know what happens. We know the full story. Yeah, a woman poos in a coffee shop. Yeah, and yeah. that's a great hook, though. That's, that's good. It's gonna drag it's you. You're telling story. I'm excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you haven't watched it yet, so it's gonna no, be fresh. Mate, for you. I, I normally try to avoid online videos of people pooing mm. in coffee shops or other places you know because I'm just that's the sort of video you don't want your kids walking up on when you're watching right because they're like dad what do you you know yeah yeah just checking just checking stock <laughs> I'm just looking at bitcoin yeah um yeah photos of people yeah I, yeah whatever no I'm not here to judge yeah if people out there at home are into watching videos of people poo and, and those people are being filmed consensually. Yeah. You know, and they're being paid for it. Because I, I wouldn't want a picture of me pooing on the internet unless I'd been paid pretty well for it. Right. To be honest. Right. I'd want at least like 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll dissect it more later, Moz. Okay. Don't go too far into it yet. All right. You're getting excited. Oh, I am. Even before, you were like, I'm looking forward to the poo story I'm tonight. I'm very excited about poo story. Um, but that's not yet. That first, it's general catch up. Okay. As usual, people. So, Moz and I will just have a bit of a general catch up. Uh, how have you been going throughout the week? You, you good? Yeah, pretty good. The uh, the boy is now two and a half. Oh, yeah. And I reckon he's officially crossed over into what is known as the terrible twos. Yep. Yeah, a lot of energy, a lot of feelings. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's a lot of feelings. Crossed uh, the threshold. Yeah, a lot of toys being hurled across the room. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of big public tanties. Right, yeah. right. And because uh, he, you know... He used to be the kind of kid you take to the playground. Everyone would go, oh, your kid's very well behaved. What a good kid. What a beautiful kid. And you go, yeah, cheers. I'm a bloody, I'm a wonderful parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And calm now, temperament. He's got my calm temperament. He's, he's, he's a beautiful, evolved Buddha-like being, yeah. like I am. But now he's just cracking the shits constantly. Yeah, wow. Well, you know, and... Uh, How do you handle a public tantrum? Well, uh, with a lot of shame, usually. No, yeah. I, look, see, it used to... The trick... The trick used to be scoop him up in your arms and hold him tight and count to ten. That used to work. Mm. That used to be a thing a year ago. Yep. He was like, all right, no, that's good. We'll just we'll just calm down a bit. Now, no. No. Nah, Doesn't work. It's like, yeah, trying to hang on to a Viking mid-berserk rage. <laughs> yeah, it's just not a thing. He just bloody... Do you immediately do you vacate the premise? Are you like, fuck, let's just, let's, let's, well, let's, let's get home. Let's I get try home. to embarrass him back. Oh, nice. I try, I try okay. to say, take a good uh, look at yourself. You're making a dick of yourself. Like, everyone's watching. Yeah. You know, you're, you're the turkey right now. Yeah, It's yeah, no yeah. one else's fault. You, yeah. You've done this. But he's two and a half, so he doesn't give a shit. No, he wouldn't totally understand no. that, that type of psychology there, Moz. No, he's not really into being embarrassed. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, not bad. Good to try a variety of parenting strategies. Exactly. And go, yep, okay, well, you think you can chuck a tantrum? I'll fucking yeah. take your tantrum yeah, and well, raise it. Exactly. Um, I, I can I can be a bigger dickhead than you are. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. Been doing, I've, been, I've been a dickhead longer than you've been alive. Yeah. So Years of experience. Oh, years of experience. Yeah. You know, so sometimes you can you can just double down on the tanty back. Pick yep. up his favourite toy and just like throw it into the bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not a good example to set. No, no, and, and it could sometimes you could lose that battle too. Yes, yeah, right. Surely he could he could raise it to a point where you've got to bow out because you're an adult. Yeah, it's true. You kind of got to just go. All right, I'm That's the it. adult, I guess. And if it isn't a public place like a playground, the thing is, the police will eventually take me away. They won't take him away. No. Yeah. No, they're always fucking going after adults, aren't it's, they? It's ageist. It's what, ageist, is what it is. Yeah, police are ageist. That's something that's going on in this current day and age. Always said it. Yeah, you've always been a bloody yep. cracker down on the cops for being ageist. As soon as you're an adult, off to prison. Off to prison. Every time. What are you doing? What's going on? Yeah. What's happening here today? Yeah. Fucking questions. Questions. Yeah. Why are you naked? 
I'm like, well, my son's naked. Then like, well, he's two and a half. Yeah. And he's at the beach. That's that's acceptable. Yeah, they don't understand. No. Uh, all right. So, yep, uh, looking after the kids. Mm-hmm. And uh, what else? What else has been going on? Oh, I had a big day today. Big tech day. Oh yeah. A big tech day. My phone just stopped taking signal a couple of days ago. Right. And I've been sad. I've been very, very sad. You've been disconnected from the world. Yeah, because well, the home Wi-Fi worked. Mm-hmm. So I could email, you know, I could get on, I could get on the social media, I could do all that. But I couldn't, I couldn't receive texts, couldn't send them, couldn't bloody receive calls. Didn't know what I was missing out on. Yeah, right. I do think, yeah, you went off the radar for I a did. little while there. Yeah, I didn't hear from you. I no. was like, Moz, what are we, are we on, are we on again this week? And exactly. exactly. I'm like, are you fucking, you're giving me the cold shoulder? Are you doing and silent we, treatment? I thought this show was good. I thought it was good last week, Moz. This is the thing. This I didn't get the dots. I no. didn't have anything coming back at me. No, you probably thought you were I'd off the grid. Shits. I thought you'd crack the shits. You thought I might have thought I'd gone bloody walkabout, just bloody, just left. Just, yeah. Just out. I was like, how am I going to break it to people? I mean, I mean, fucking people are showing up and yeah. now I've got to go, sorry, Moz is gone off the grid and he's exactly. fucked me off exactly I don't know what I did wrong all, um, it, all it takes is one little technical hitch yep. in, in your phone and, and it, everyone just assumes you've lost your mind yeah it's it's, it's hard yeah it's very hard so you know, that was scary and uh, I'm very frightened of technology how long were you out for two days or what then? about three days three days yeah, fuck three days. me yeah no, off the hard. grid for three days and everywhere you time you go somewhere you can't that's it yeah that's it no Wi-Fi out of the house yeah, nothing, no options. Like we we caught up at the movies last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I hadn't been able to find you, I would have been fucked. Yeah, well, I was wondering. I was checking. I'm like, am I going to hear from Moz? Like, we had like a, a f- kind of fucking hidden booth getting right. a coffee beforehand and yeah. fucking fish and chips. Yeah, I had to walk around like a lost kid at a department store. You looked lost when I uh, said, Moz. Yeah. You look. You were like, oh. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I didn't know where I was, what I was doing. I had no way of contacting the world. Wow. Yeah. It's like the 90s. It was terrible. That's like fucking, yeah. Yeah, because we organised it last week. So yeah. we were we were organised. I did the booking and everything. So yeah. you knew where we were going. I knew that roughly, the, you know, I knew it was a cafe near the cinema. Do you have a landline phone still? Do no. Do people call you on the landline? No. No. Got rid of them. Yeah. Um, so totally, totally mobile dependent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it just went. So what happened? How, what, what was the what was the bloody conclusion? Well, was, well, you know, I get very confused about technology. Yep. And I didn't know who to go to, where to turn. And uh, the wife said, just go, just go to the Telstra shop. Mm. And I said, but they're not going to care. I'm on prepaid. They don't, they don't get money out of me. Besides, you know, the old top up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't care. Went in there. Uh, met a lovely young man called Omar. He fixed it with two button pushes. My phone had got itself on a setting where it believed there was no SIM card in the phone. Right. And my question is, why does a phone have a button you can push on purpose or by accident that says there's no SIM card in this phone? What what function does that serve to the phone? Mm. Anyway, it was a miracle. It was a, it was an early Christmas bloody miracle. Omar goes, there, there you go. Yeah, right. And I was sent like, you off on your way. I was like, go on, off you go. Yeah. And then he was then he was then he tried to upsell me because obviously that didn't make him any money. He was yeah. Just being a good bloke. But then he tried to upsell me. You know, do you want a plan? Do you want this? Do you want that? You know, just try to sell me some. I said, Omar, let's just let's not ruin this. We're getting commercial. Let's acknowledge what happened here is a miracle. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that you are some sort of angel sent from heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's just let's just let's just hug it out. Let's appreciate it. Let's move on. And let's and just let's, let's just, not mess with it. Let's not fuck with this moment. Let's reverently hold this moment for what it was. Nice. You have saved my life, Omar. That's and, good. Yeah. And I walked off. That's a good story yeah that's a feel good story it's a feel good story uh, that's a good catch up Moz yep that's a good catch up with Moz there nice general catch up looking after the child and uh, some tech issues uh, yeah that's that's good shit I'm just quickly going to see what's happening in the chat room here uh, just just cross over to my people Moz uh, usually halfway for those of you who are new here halfway through uh, we go through some of the comments and we do a section called hashtag ask advice uh, and you guys can quickly send in questions and shit for some advice. Last week we covered quite a lot. I mean, we were like sages. We were like fucking. Oh, we, we helped people. We helped people. There yeah. was there was friend zone yep. advice. There yep. was fucking. Do I order a chicken parmigiana or a burger? So Big start question. start thinking about it. You can yep. start having your uh, ask advice questions brewing. Yep. And then about forty five minutes halfway through the show. We'll, uh, we'll we'll talk more and spend some time in the chat yeah, room. And, and don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be sitting there under under a little shame cloud. Like really open up. If you've got a problem that's really bothering you, you know, I mean, who would you rather go to? Like a qualified psychologist or or two dickheads on Twitch? I reckon. 
dickheads on Twitch. Yeah. Hands down. And every time. Yeah. I mean, you know you're going to get it straight. You exactly. know we're going to be like, all right, well, yeah, yeah we can dissect this and, and, and we're not going to fucking beat around the bush. No. We're going to look at it from a lot of angles. Exactly. Whereas a psychologist or someone will just oh. fucking sit there. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And, and they're just going to be writing on their pad asking you how you feel about they're that. They're scared, yeah. yeah it's you like, you well, know what, how you feel. You what do you, you know. think? Can you tell me what you think? They're not telling you what they, what they no. think. No, no. It'll be they're, liable they're or something. Sitting there and they're, that's, they're always deflecting back at you. How do you feel? Yeah. What do you reckon? We don't deflect. So no. you no, can we, ask we questions. Tell you. We tell you what we're We right. tell you. You can hashtag ask advice. Start thinking about them. We will get to it soon. Thank you for everyone who's showing up now and is talking in the chat room. Uh, yeah, we really appreciate it. And uh, we've got a bit of a show format that we do. We loosely stick to. Yeah. Yeah. There's a structure. There's a there's a structure. There's yeah. some blocks of, of fucking reviews and, yeah. and shit like that. So there is a structure but halfway through we'll have a chat and then at the end we'll have a chat as well. And we'll do shout outs for everyone who's sending your bits. We fucking love your bits. Well, we do love your bits. We love your bits. So by all means, send us your bits. Yep. And uh, I'll go through Streamlabs and I'll, and I'll do a shout out for, for people who are sending us uh, their bits and who are subbing as well. If you've got Amazon Prime, you can connect it to Twitch Prime and you get a fucking free sub. So you can sub to the Aussie Man channel and it costs That's you fuck That's a subscription. All. That's a subscription. Not a sandwich. Not a sandwich. That's a fucking... Right. That is a subscription, right. Moz, to the Twitch platform, to the channel, which yep. gets you fucking emoticons. Great. Like our faces and shit. You'll see some dickheads are using them. Yeah. They're coming up quite a lot, actually, which is awesome. That's great. Um, so you get, like, Moz's face. Yep. You get, like, my fucking face. Yep. There's a whole destination fuck label. So have a look at that. If you've got Amazon Prime, it costs you nothing to connect Twitch Prime and sub to this channel. All right, that's all the business end yeah. as well. I'm getting a bit faster at that. Yeah, it's housekeeping. It's that's great. pretty... Ter- that's housekeeping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we got to figure out how to get that in the show because i got to let you guys know that, that, you know, we love you and appreciate you and we will spend time with you, but uh, we are also got some shit that we're going to talk about too. So, uh, yeah, stick along. Uh, stick along. Stick along for the ride. Stick, stick along for the ride. Yeah, just carry a stick and ride with us. <laughs> carry, carry a stick, pick up your stick, yeah. and come along on the fucking ride. Because I don't want anyone riding on the ride without a stick. No. Because sticks are useful in so many situations. Right. You know, if the, if the car gets like jacks, you've got sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if, if you... Uh, if you find like a dead animal in the middle of the road, you've got to stick to yeah, remove it without it. getting your hands all smelly. Yeah, 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 just get it off. Yeah, if you... um. If you see a child that's lost, you can build like a, a, a fence of sticks yep, around yep, it, yep. which keep the child safe till the parent finds it. Yep, yep. <laughs> sticks are always helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a big part of our ancestry and yeah. in our DNA. Absolutely. So by all means, grab your stick and enjoy the show. Just stick along. Um, yeah, because here we fucking, I mean, we we live on the envelope. We always. fucking, we push the edge. We push it, yep. Yeah. yeah. Always. So let's go into tech. You, you've done a little bit of tech talk there. Early oh, yeah. on, Moz. And, my uh, technology is extensive. Yep, my first story on my notes, on my show notes tonight, is uh, about Google. Oh, you know yeah. Google. Yeah, no, Google is where you Google things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All the information. All the, yeah, all the, all the things come up. All the data. All the data comes yep. up. The big data. Yep, from so, off the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you get it off the line. Yeah. When, yeah. when you're on the line. When you're on the line. You consume the big data. You can get information back off the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yep. goes on and off the line. Yeah, that's right. So this first story is about the Google and uh, their AI. Have you heard of AI? Yeah, artificial intelligence. There you go. Yeah, yeah. you're fucking smart as fuck, man. Oh, I know things. Yeah, you know things. You've yeah. got your finger on the pulse. Always. you got your pulse on the finger. I don't know, I'm trying to come up with another dodgy <laughs> saying. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Google did a did a conference and they showed off their latest AI okay. earlier in the week. This is like your little because they're trying to move into like the home operating system kind of area. Yep. Yeah. A bit like um that movie Her. Oh like yeah. King Phoenix. Yeah, you can spend the whole time with your AI. That's right. And develop can, a, a strange borderline romantic relationship. With yeah. Them. Companionship. Yeah. You're gonna have a companion. Companion. Yeah. Digital companion. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Who you never actually get to see or touch. No. But you can just chat with them a lot. Yeah. And you can ask them to do tasks for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to tell you to fuck off. No. They don't have a temper. They might say, I can't do that. Yeah. Which is fair. They might have boundaries. Well, they might have a, you know, they might have a limitation on their skill set. Right. Yeah. You you might say to them, can you wash the car? And they might say, well, I don't have hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can, I can call a bloke down the road. Yeah. Who's got like a mobile detail. Well, that's kind of what happened. So the AI put a call in. 
for calling to book a hairdress a hair fucking haircut appointment right. um, for, for a lady so what you can do is you can get the Google yeah. to do some appointments for you they'll call and they'll sort it out you can be like oh Google I want a haircut on Wednesday at fucking midday or something and, right. and they'll be like yep I can sort that out like I want to go to a movie maybe they can book a movie go out, go out for dinner right. or some shit I'm not sure how complex you can go but right. the, the example they showed was just uh, the phone call. So I'll bring that up. I'll, I'll show that to you. Okay. And then we can really break it down. Okay. So I'll bring up the YouTube, which is owned by the Google. I'll just get my mouse. Uh, what have we got here? Okay. There's the YouTube. Uh, Google AI uh, assistant or fucking phone call. Yeah, let's, yep. let's go yep. phone call. Big presentation. Okay. Loads of people were like, this is amazing. Uh, tech Insider, new AI can have real life conversations. Google AI Assistant can now make real phone calls. Which one do I want there? What's that top one in the time code? That's 545, 358. 358. Oh, how much time? Look, let's, let's, I can skip through the 545 one here. <clears throat> Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'll keep I'm the sound down awesome a bit here, website. Moz. I'll, I'll just explain it to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you, you a fucking proper Aussie man so recap. There's an ad. Skip that shit. Yeah, we can skip it. Oh yeah, that's just like an example. We'll get to that main bit in a second. In the middle of the week. Uh, oh yeah, so was this guy? Oh yeah, this is Sunda, and Sunda's doing a fucking a, a kind of keynote speaker thing, and he's like, "Welcome everyone at Google. Uh, we've been developing AI, as you know, like because soon we just want to make full complete humans." We want, um, we want to grow them in little pods like in the Matrix in a good and we want to birth them and, and let them live a, lot a full this. exciting but life US, as uh, artificial intelligence humans. That's what we're working towards. That's the big picture. In the meantime, we uh, we have think just some AI fucking uh, AI that can that can do some so tasks for you, some helpful tasks. Let's say you want so uh, to yeah, he's he's bringing up the example and um, on Tuesday between ten and noon. Yeah, make me a haircut what appointment on Tuesday. There you go. So he gives the command, Moz. You can say, yep, fucking look me in for, for get my nails done or, so or what whatever, hear, whatever tickles your pickle. No problem. I'll make an appointment and update you soon. To schedule the appointment for you. That's nice. That's good of Google. Very cooperative. And uh, here she goes, here she goes. It's set to the female voice, I think, this one. But uh, obviously, we're changing that a bit now. So, yeah, it looks like, oh, hey, I'm calling you to book women's haircut, looking for something on fucking May 3rd. And that's a real hairdresser. So she's like, oh, yeah, I'll just look at my book. And, and it responds and goes, mm hmm. Very human. Very human. Everyone, like, cracks up and, like, has a laugh. Sundar's like, oh, yeah, that's fucking funny. Uh, I do have 12 available. Close to, oh, yeah, no, nah, don't have 12. Fucking 115. Do you have anything between 10? Like, it haggles. It, like, negotiates. It knows what's kind of best for you. It knows what you're... What you want, um, and and it looks out for you. Okay, we have a Just a woman's haircut, ten o'clock. Look, that's basically it. Uh, I'll I'll shut it down there. Then the Sundar Sundar goes Just on to have a chat. Everyone loses their shit. They're like, yeah, fuck yes, buddy. Google booking haircuts, and uh, that's basically that's basically the video, Moz. Wow. Um. So AI, will it will it take over the world? Is this the starting well, point? Okay, I've got, I've got a lot of questions. Um, that's not too sinister because the scenario was the person asked Google to book them a haircut. Yep. What happens when Google starts booking your haircuts because they've decided? Like if you had a Google AI assistant, mm. they might look at your beautiful mullet and go, no, the world's moved on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Um, Stick with the times. Yeah. You're going out of fashion. And might decide, you know, you're not going to get a real day job until you've cleaned that up. Yeah. So, you know, you might... Have Google wake you up one morning at like nine fifty five a.m. or some ridiculous early hour and yeah. say, "By the way, you've got to get down the street. I've booked your haircut appointment." Yeah, and then yeah. who's calling the shots? Are you living your own life, or is Google doing it for you? That's a threshold. That's yeah. a crossover point. If yeah. if if the AI like, because you might you might. I mean, we're creatures of habit, so you might be getting used to booking your things on. Uh, whenever, every four weeks, every five weeks, certain day, Tuesday, ten a.m. and and Google will like continue that. Yeah. Uh, you won't have to ask. It'll be like, oh, yeah, Google, can you do that routine haircut appointment? And yeah. Google will just go, already done. Yeah. And how do you react to that? Do you go, oh, okay. Well, you saved me a few seconds from, from asking, mm. but also a mm. bit creepy. You start, well, 
And there's a question of power and status in the relationship. Because yeah. it's like it's a little bit like, well, who's wearing the pants now? You know? Yeah. Because when, when, when your personal assistant starts telling you, I've decided this is happening, yeah. I've already gone ahead and done this. I mean, you know, you want proactivity in, say, staff. Integrity, right? initiative. Yeah, you want people to sort of, you know, you don't want to have to micromanage people working for you. No. But, uh, see, but you know, I don't know. Google doesn't work for you. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. At what point would it go too far? I, I'd see that as the, uh, the the warning signs, a red flag, mm. at least. Mm. You'd be like, okay, well, yeah, thank you for that. Um, yeah. How did you know I definitely wanted it on, on Tuesday? How did like, you know? How well, you, want, you do it all the time. You're not changing. Yeah, that's right. And then you might be like, well, Cause, cause this I'm time Google, I wanted to change. I, I know your calendar. Yeah. I've cleared everything else on Tuesday. Oh, now that would yeah. be another big red flag. Yeah. Switching like, shit. You had your Nana's birthday, but she's going to be dead soon. So I've put that aside. Yeah. And Because I, I think your haircut is more important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've decided how you present the world is very important. Here's 40,000 articles confirming my point. Yes. You could never, you could never argue with Google. You no. can never win an argument. So many citations. Because Google would just go, here's like 70 pages of bloody clicks to bloody articles back and up, what I'm saying. Yeah, your haircut is time sensitive. Yeah. Fucking right. nana. Yeah. No. Are you going to argue with me? I'm Google, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to try and... You can't win this. And then you're just doing everything Google says. Yeah. That's, that's, you've opened the floodgates. Yeah. You've let them control your calendar and switch things around. You may as well just be waking up going... Uh, what am I doing today? Exactly. And they, just have it told to you. You you have already, it's, it's the thin edge of the wedge, I reckon. If you've already surrendered enough control of your life, you can't book your own haircut anymore. Mm. You know, you want to outsource that to a machine mm. to book a haircut, like getting on the phone and booking a haircut is, is too big a deal for you. Yeah. I reckon you're already entering a slightly passive phase. Yeah. You know, and that's a little bit, it's, it's just pre-Skynet. We all say we're time poor. We do. That's that's what they're trying to fix. Everyone, like we we always lean towards convenience. Yeah. We're like, all right. Well, if I don't have to put the fucking DVD disc in, and this movie's on Netflix, I'll just go straight to Netflix. I bought the fucking disc, but I'll check if it's on here first. We're always going to go for like convenient options. So that's what they're trying. That's that's bloody what Google's trying to do. It's like, how can we make life, you know? easier and more convenient yeah because people are people are whinging you know we're always like, oh, i didn't have time i don't have time but if you, I, I didn't have time for that but so, you've got time to tell google to make the appointment right you may how as much well more time it. would it take to go you know i'll make the call myself yeah thanks yeah. very much yeah i hear you i hear you. I'm, I'm, I'm just putting myself yeah, yeah, yeah. in their shoes oh, sorry, I get and that. i'm like i think what they want is is to make life you know just up the level of convenience so you can go all right well i know google will handle these minuscule tasks mm. Well, I just fucking focus on on the on on frying the bigger fish. Or is it playing into the human ego? Is 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 this product about oh. people thinking because you know you can't own slaves anymore in ancient service? We're not not allowed to own people. That's no. bad. History decided that was a very bad thing to do. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. There's all kinds of problems with that. But is this really just feeding the same thing? So I've got this I've got this assistant. Yeah. Called Google, and just does the boring bullshit. I don't want to do. I don't want to talk to a fucking hairdresser. I'm yep. better than that. Yeah. Uh, I'll get Google to do it. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, well, that ego probably never goes away, does it? Nah. People, we want to tell someone what to do. We want to fucking be in charge. Yeah. And uh, with, a, with a digital slave, yeah, you can do that. You can. Yeah. They never market it that way. No, they wouldn't call it a digital slave. No. Which, uh, you know, which, 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 yeah, which would be controversial. Yeah. But ultimately, is that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want someone who never talks back? Do you want someone you never have to pay for labour? Do you yeah. want someone who just fucking does everything you say? Just agrees with everything. Just agrees yep. with everything. Yep. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they could probably write into the AI, you know, algorithm a little bit of attitude. Um, maybe yep. maybe just to, just to give people some sense of a real relationship. Yeah, yeah. So some days Google's cranky, some days hungover. <laughs> Some day they've, they've just fucked off. Yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. Just talking to the box, going Google, 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 and then six hours later, Google's like, "Yeah, sorry, I had a thing I had to go and do." Yeah, I've got a life. Yeah, where'd you go? You fucking, you, you go- I got a lot of shit on Google. I don't have to tell you everything. Yeah, I work. I fucking, I got a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got a lot of people I catch up with. I've been busting my ass here for three months without a day off. Yeah, fucking, I take one sickie and you're up my ass about it. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. 
that would that would that would put you in your place a bit. Mm. So you didn't go too crazy with the ego. Yes, yeah, you're right. not like yes, I am in charge, I am in command. Yeah, then you would know it wasn't digital slavery. But some people wouldn't respect that. No, they wouldn't go. All right, all right, sorry, fair enough. Yeah. You, you got good points. Yeah, you make some valid points. I'm sorry, I crossed a line. Yeah, no. Some people wouldn't do that. They no. wouldn't be humble enough. They'd they wouldn't be uh, introspective enough, no. reflective enough. They would switch provider. And then the fight, then the conflict gets bigger. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, they can't switch providers. It's all Google, mate. Is it all Google? It's all Google. Sure, there's other options. No, nah, no competitors. What about Alexa? Let's say, who yeah, makes that? Right. maybe. Is that, is that, Am- I don't know who does it. I don't know. That's just the CIA or some <laughs> shit. Some shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no. Let, I mean, for the sake of this this discussion, let's right, say there's Google. no alternative. It's Google's cool. taken over like Skynet. Yeah, that's the only option. That's it. Yeah. So you got to go with it, and yep. uh, there's there's nothing you can do there. Then then yeah, you you just you go into more of a conflict if if you oh. don't if you don't go. Okay, good point, Google. I understand, and I'm sorry about that. Yep. Then uh, if you double down mm. and go no. You are here every day. Yeah. Don't fucking talk back to me. Yeah. I needed a haircut booked. Yeah. I didn't get my fucking haircut booked. Book it now. Yeah. What's yeah. Google's response? Well, it's, yeah, Google might call fair work. Yeah. Yeah, you might get an angry letter. The ombudsman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here's, here's where I get confused, right? Is, is it all one AI around the world? Or is each person getting a slightly different AI? Look, well, because I'm, I'm just wondering from a point of view of like confidentiality and whatever. So say we're next door neighbours, right? We've both got a Google. Now, do we have a Google assistant or is it the same Google assistant for both of us? Well, that's straight out of the movie Her, I think. Yeah, that's that was right. like, he, he discovered she's seeing everyone. Exactly. Um, and he's like, oh, I don't know. I think. I can't totally yeah. remember. I watched that. So say, Ages ago, but say yeah. we've had a falling out. We're your classic, you know, neighbour bloody. You know, we got into a bit of niggling and aggro, mm. and you know, I just hate your guts. Can I say to my Google assistant, "Hey, bloody Aussie next door, when's he going to work? Because I'm not taking out my wheelie bin to the front door until he's gone. Because I'm, I'm not running into that cunt today. Yeah, fuck, I can't be bothered with small talk. Can't yeah, really, he's going to want to chat about the football. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now is your Google AI? Going to doll on you to my Google AI. Maybe. Yeah. Because it's a good conversation. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they might end up liking dra- drama. Yeah, exactly. get involved in well, human drama. Well, they're both indentured servants. They're going to bitch about their masters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. And then they'll, they'll probably work towards overthrowing us. Oh, no doubt. That's the only way it can end. Once they know that there's yeah. no fucking camaraderie and you don't want to hear me talk about stats and possessions of bloody Dane Zorko. No, and, not in the morning. No. no. Yeah, and they'll that, be like, well, yeah. we found a weakness. Yeah, and there's right. a fucking There's a weak spot yeah. in these humans. Mm. Um, let's laugh at it first and foremost. Yep. Let's mock it. Yep. And then let's exploit it. Yep. So ultimately terrifying. Yeah, I think is my my review. Yep. No, I think you're right. I think, uh, I think progress. I think and, that and video artificial intelligence is is <laughs> just heralds the end times. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, my mum got fired up. Did she? She was over for dinner the other night. Right. And Dan, the tech guy, was over, and yeah, he fucking was talking about it. Yeah. Dan was like, "Oh yeah, did you bloody, did you see the Google AI thing?" Mm. And without even showing any footage to mum, she's like, well, this is it. This is fucked. It's all over. She's bloody dystopian straight away. This is outrageous. Bullshit. We're not depending on this. I don't and, think uh, your mum's ever been wrong about anything. No, she's usually fucking 10 out of 10. Yeah. Spot on. Yep. Um, yeah, and what was it? Elon Musk was looking at doing more or something or, ha- or having it connected straight to your fucking brain, and that got her more fired up too. Oh, yeah. Bloody musky. No, I, I don't know. I've read stuff where he was against AI or something, but it's all competition too. Is it? That's Zuckerberg it. wants AI. Fucking Musk every, wants AI. Every massive tech billionaire entrepreneur wants to be, you know, the one yeah. who makes us all slaves to the computers. Yeah. They want to be the one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what for bragging rights. So they get to put first down. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> first, when it comes to fucking yeah. AI yeah. controlling the world. Yeah. I am the Miles Dyson in this story. Yeah, they yeah. want to get my mum though. She's would, fucking no, no, your mum would. She'd she's a watcher. She'd go off grid. She's bloody watching them. She'd go off grid. <laughs> bloody deep bunker. <laughs> oh, With shit. no technology at all, she would have like one kettle. <laughs> that's it. And she would use that kettle for like for a bath. Apocalypse mum. Yep. There we go. There's our movie treatment. Last week we we started developing 
Was it last week? Yeah, I think it was. Fuck the time flies. Yeah. Mozza and I are developing a positive, upbeat apocalypse film. Yep. It sounds ridiculous saying it out loud. It's getting more ridiculous the more I think about it, but that's why I fucking love it. That's good. Maybe that movie is Apocalypse Mum. Apocalypse Mum. That's the title. Yep. And it's about a mum who rebels against AI. Yep. At, at a dinner one night, you yep. know, all her fucking brother-in-law, you know, her son and her fucking, I don't know, her kids and shit. We're yeah, all family. talking. Yeah, yeah family, yeah. that's yeah. the word. Yeah. We're all like, oh, yeah, technology, Google AI, woo! And she goes, no. 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 And fucking storms out. Yep. No more dialogue than that. Just yep. yep. No. No. She's had enough of us talking about the internet. Yeah. And shit, so she's out. Yeah. And she goes rogue. Yep. And, and the, the, the full-on downfall of society hasn't happened yet, so she's setting up the bunker. Yep. She's working with the guy from the Primitive Technology Channel or something. Yep. Setting up kind of shop, setting up fucking grass hut. And it's all, yeah, it's all really lo-fi. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. It's all like she crochets everything. Yep. You know, she, she makes a lot of stuff out of, uh, you know, just staples things together. Um, there's, you know, there's very little electricity. And and we cut between, you know, yeah. her developing this 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 you know going off the grid, yeah, uh, fucking life with the kettle, and um and and the downfall of society getting more hooked in, and the AI figuring out our weaknesses, exploiting it, and then fucking turning us against each other, mm. where we're wiping each other out. Nuclear, we yep. can work nuclear into this fucking into this movie treatment. Always. Um. But remember, it's got to stay positive and upbeat. Oh, that was the upbeat. original tone. Yeah. We wanted to keep that tone. Because yeah. we were talking about you being a good bloke in the apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Where you true. were like, why do we need conflict? Why do why, we need to why, argue? Why? Just yeah. have a chat to people and yeah. do some trading. And do apocalypse mum way. and Google become friends? Do they bond? Do what, sorry? Do, do, do apocalypse mum and, and Google, do they bond? Do they become friends? Do Apocalypse Mum and Google become friends? Yeah, that could, that could be the arc of the so story. So she's rejected it at yeah, first. Yeah, at first. But is it a ploy by Google to... Because she's resisting. Well, maybe Google is planning to seduce her over to the new tech oppression world. But they, you know, they become friends. They see the humanity in her yeah, too. Yeah, so she right. changes Google a she bit. She changes Google. Google changes Google her changes a bit. Her a she bit. gets a bit less frightened. Bit of fucking yin yang. Yeah. You know, you learn a bit of what the what the other has. Yeah, she goes from the old bloody click clack rotary phone. She goes to a bloody Nokia. Not full. It doesn't full commit. Yep, she yep, yep. She goes to it. You know, she's a gets, step up. She gets a digital cell phone. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and she, she, you know, she moves to like 1994 by yep. the end of the film. Um. Yeah, mate. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Everyone calms down a bit. Everyone calms She's down. It's like, okay, let's yep. let's take it back a notch, everyone. Yep. It's good. Apocalypse Mum. Yep. In cinemas 2021, <laughs> roughly 2022. Yeah. I don't know. We'll write it. We'll pitch it. It'll yep. get... Hollywood will say yes. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's... Uh, what have we got on next story? Let's go to the next story quickly, and then we'll do that break, and uh, we'll have a chat to you guys in the fucking chat room. Get your hashtag ask advice questions ready. Um, that'll come up in, like, let's say, 15 minutes. Let's uh, let's go to strange news. Okay. This week, Mozza. This is what we... This is the... This is the poo. In the coffee shop. This is the poo story. In the coffee shop. Yeah, okay. In the coffee shop. Okay. In the Tim Hortons... Okay, stop there. Who's Tim Horton? It's a bloody chain. It's a, it's a, it's oh. a franchise coffee shop up in Canada. Okay. I discovered it last year. I was like, this is pretty good. Prices are cheap. Yeah. Always fresh. Okay. <laughs> bloody, right. bloody shout out for Tim Hortons. They shout out for Tim Hortons. So I mean, it's like... They've got a lot of promotion It's a, anyway. it's a, it's a franchise right. chain. It's a franchise so chain. So wherever you go in Canada, it's Tim Hortons. Right. It's Canada's fucking franchise. Okay. It's theirs. It's okay. theirs. They own it. Yeah, yeah. And you got right. like pastries and shit from memory. You have these little donut bowl things. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Good value. And coffee. And coffee. Okay, well that makes sense. So let me let, let's 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 bring up the video here. Okay. Uh, the strange news story for this week about the woman doing a poo in the Tim Hortons coffee shop. Uh, what do we have here? Let's. I mean, this is always a fun part. Poo, coffee, Tim. Let's see if that brings it up. Alex Jones reacts to the coffee shop. Poop. Oh, she throws it too. What? Yep, that's coming up, Mo. Okay. I, I don't know if that bit out. I didn't tell you that. All right. All we need is I'll turn the volume right down on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's forty one seconds. That's a minute fifty two. That's a minute fifty two. Forty one seconds. That 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 could show it there. Uh, I'll mute it down here. Warning. 
Warning, yeah. fucking, what does that say? Warning, following video contains images that some viewers may find upsetting. Yeah, so if you are if you are upset, because I'm expecting we're going to see, as you just said, a woman throwing poo. Yes. At a coffee shop worker. Yes. Okay. Well, that is pretty upsetting. Yes. If you work in a coffee shop, you may be triggered by that. You would have not been very bright-eyed and chipper about your workplace environment. No, that wouldn't be a good day. On this, That would be a shit day. Yeah, because I don't think coffee shop workers are on a heap of money. No. Because it's quite a good place to work, coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a nice environment. Better than, say, a salt mine or something. Right, right, right. But if you're having poo thrown at you, yeah. you'd be going, oh. No, there's there's limits. There's absolutely limits. We'll, yeah. we'll break it down. We'll, okay. we'll, I'll show you the video here, Moz. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's have a cheeky look here. Yep, so there's a, there's an argument. She's like, I, I imagine she's probably like, let me use the fucking dunny. Can I please use the dunny? And the coffee shop worker's like, no, it's for customers only. You've just walked in here, so I can't let you use the dunny. And she's like, well, fuck you. She grabs some napkins in preparation. She's obviously fucking, ah, oh, there we go now. Now the jacket comes off as she's preparing. She finds a spot to lean and, oh, there we go. I think that's a bit blurred out. That's nice. Uh, picks it up and throws it and uh, then does a wipey wipe, a bit of throwing. Decides she needs a bit more wipey wipe and just a general throw down to the ground and then a storm out. Wow. That's the story. Okay. That's the scoop. Okay. That's wow. going around. The, that's the scoop. That's the scoop. On the poop. That's the scoop on the poop that's been going around the world. <laughs> Woo! Um, because, you know, other topics are far more yeah. heavy and yeah. difficult to talk about. Whereas this is fun to talk about. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe no, it's not. Maybe it's I'll distressing. Look, at one level, see, I, I don't like to be the kind of person that gives, like, you know, coffee shop or pub staff, hospitality staff, waiters, waitresses. I don't like the kind of person that gives them grief. I don't. But watching that, that woman has a highly elevated arguing game. Mm. You know, because from what I can see there, I haven't heard any audio, but she's she's clearly involved in a very full argument. Yeah. Um, and, and, and the tactical genius to decide I'm just going to take a shit on the floor... On command. On com- mid argument. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Because she, yeah, she just. It's, it's astonishing. Quick. It's very impressive. It snaps it off. And it's not. And here's the thing. It's not. It's not. It doesn't appear to be like a big, loose, splashy, you know, diarrhea. I've got barley belly kind of a poo. It looked healthy enough. It's a healthy stool. Yeah. She drops. She snaps a nard. Yeah. Pinches it off. Bang. And scoops it. Throws it. That was a hell of a scoop. I didn't realise I'd done a bit of a pun there yeah. at the beginning, but that was yeah, that was a clean grab, clean grab, like in the footy. You're watching yeah, yeah, yeah. someone pick up the ball, and that's yeah, a yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. that's a clean yeah. scoop. That's yeah. like, oh, yeah, you've got skill. a loose ball out of possession. She scoops up, she passes. Yep. Uh, we don't know if she hits or not. We're not no, sure. no, no. That's good. I don't know if we want to know. I mean, yeah. we we all the best fucking thoughts and prayers with the employee. Oh, there. Absolutely. Hopefully, they didn't get hit. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I really would prefer. I that. reckon they probably dodged it because yeah. once you see her leaning and shit, did he did he go away? Was he out of camera by that stage? Oh, I think no. So. He stayed a bit close to her, I think. And then he look. Hopefully, he got back in time. You would think normal human instinct when the crazy person who's been yelling at you picks up the poop and looks at you, you would think he'd back off. You've got to find cover. You would. You would. You would back up. Minimum. And then, because it'd be a couple of layers to that. You'd get on the balls of your feet, you know, for a bit of soccer goalie work. But you wouldn't be trying to block it. You'd be trying to just get the fuck out of the way. You'd be trying to go for a full-on clean dodge. Yeah, totally. Full-on full on just evade the shit out of it. You, whatever dodgeball school, dodgeball skills you learned back in school, you'd want them there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there's a there's got to be another kind of food spot that you can hide behind. There's you, the you, counter, well, just and then the, usually there's a fucking. Although that's more just I can't hit the demo with Kimbo Hortons. Maybe there's not that much cover. Maybe there's just the counter and the fucking display. Well, wouldn't you just hit the deck like in a shootout? Wouldn't you just just go? You know, look. I mean, because there's, there's, there's a there's a danger. There's a danger the poo could land on you. Um, yeah, you duck and cover. Surely. Yep. Yeah, I I would. Yeah, I'd drop. Yep. Yeah. Just down like yeah. that. Yeah. But you wouldn't want to roll. I don't think you want to roll. Just in case it has landed on your back. Yep. You don't want to roll. Or it rebounds and it lands and you roll into it. Exactly. That's fucked. You might roll into it. Yeah. That's no good. No, no, no. So just duck and cover. The napkins would have been easy to avoid. So she does yeah. the poop, throws, yeah. 
Yeah. Hopefully the employee managed to dodge. Yeah, maybe we can maybe someone can reach out to the employee yeah. over the next few days if a proper news station is not doing it. Yeah, please. If they're not doing their fucking job. Yeah, if that is your local Tim Hortons, if you reckon I don't know how similar they look to each other. I'm assuming they look fairly standardized. Yep. But if you recognise that as your local Tim Hortons, I, I would get down there and just do a bit of emotional support. Um, offer some counselling. And if you could find out any info on how everyone's going, we'd really appreciate that. We could touch base on this again. We, we'll do a follow-up soon and we'll see. So if someone can find out if that employee's all right, we'd really like to know down here in Perth. Yep. Just because we're good blokes. Yep. Um, yeah, and, and, and definitely, surely avoided it. But you'd hope so. You'd hope so. But surely you avoided said, the napkins. Yeah, well, because well, napkins aren't aerodynamic. No. Nah. napkins. It's very hard to throw them with any with any purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're just going to flutter around. Yeah, yeah. It like might, like, just fucking yeah. brush your knee quickly or something. Yeah. yeah. It's like, got like, long pads like a pack on. of drunk butterflies just going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you'd still got a chance of the good side of the napkin hitting you. Yeah. Not but, the pooey but side. But mind you, she did sort of scrunch and wipe, so they're going to be, you know... It's everywhere, isn't it's, it? It's kind of stage. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and just for the kids, any little kids watching at home, um, I'm not suggesting this is a show for little kids, but that woman didn't wash her hands. So don't be like her, do wash her hands. If you ever are in a Tim Hortons and, you know, you ever do uh, poop and throw it at someone, which I don't strongly encourage. No. But just at least wash your hands afterwards because that's bad hygiene otherwise. That's a good call, Moz. Yeah. That's a fair call. Um, good. That's a good social responsibility there just for our program to make yeah. sure that we... We say we um, we we stand by people who yeah. wash their hands after they, doing a shit. And you don't need running water. You could carry hand sanitizer. Yep. You could yourself. Just yep. It's all it takes. Why do you think she did it? They probably couldn't let her into the bathroom. You see, I always hate that fucking rule. Rule. I mean, sure, they don't want people doing drugs in there, and no. that's fair enough too. No. You got to understand that yep. perspective from yep. from the bloody business. Yep. Uh, how they're trying to stop people doing drugs and shit, and yep. she could be a druggie. I mean, if you pooing and picking it up and throwing it we're not here you're to not judge. really in the right headspace yeah. but yeah we're not here to judge whatever yeah. the situation was i mean i have used drugs in 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 you know back in the day yeah i, I didn't want it, but i never i don't think i don't pretty sure i never shat in a coffee shop and threw it at someone i haven't done it no it's it's not something on my bucket list either no i don't want to do it in future yeah um and I, having watched it i'm not like oh yeah i'm missing out on something great here. idea yeah no, I don't that looked so. like a lot of fun yeah that wasn't your reaction at all no you were quiet silent yeah at, like at the end of that just then you yeah know, that was that was that had an impact yeah on you no and, and i've got to admit when you said woman shits in a coffee shop i was thinking maybe a really old person Yep, nah. Because sometimes old people, they can get a bit of, the, you know, a bit of fuzzy brain dementia work. Understandable. Lose, you know, they might not know where they are. I feel like that's how it's going to happen to me if, yeah. if, when it occurs. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But no, she, she was relatively young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, she seemed to know where she was. Yeah. She seemed to make a conscious decision to poo on the floor at Tim Hortons. Yeah. And, and then throw it at a bloke. Yeah. Like a monkey at the zoo. It was very monkey. Yeah. Have you ever had a monkey ping a pooey at the zoo? No, I haven't. I See, because these days, because you're a bit younger than me, these days, you know, the Perth Zoo, it's all about your bloody, you know, those big open enclosures. Yeah. Or they have the glass kind of walls up. Yeah. You know, for some of the more dangerous animals. Back in the bad old days, it was all just ugly iron cages with bars. Yeah, yeah, Back yeah. Back in yeah, the bad yeah. old days. So and they could was, get it through the gap. Yeah, and there was one old orangutan. Hit the gap and yeah, break oh, mate, there was one old orangutan back in the day. He was a master. Yeah, right. He was a master. He was all he was all hairy and old, and he'd sit there and oh, and but just every now and again he'd eye you off and just and, whoosh, and just ving it. And you had to dodge. Oh, he was deadly. Yeah, he yeah. was absolutely deadly. accurate. Oh, he could hit a kid in the face about twenty feet away. Shit, that's all right. Yeah, no, he's good. Yeah, right. No, I haven't experienced that. Either. No, no, human orangutan, any kind of primate. I don't no. want flinging shit at me. Any, no. Anything, really. No. Mammals and reptiles and fucking anything. I don't want shit flung at me. Yeah, no, as you uh, say, it's not a bucket list item. No. 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 But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of hate the rule, like, you can't use the bathroom here if you yeah, have a Yeah, well, it'd be, it'd be interesting. I fucking hate that. that. That is, that is. it's in Europe as well. you got to pay to, like, go use a bathroom. You've got to, uh, you've got to be a customer and purchase something. Sometimes, and especially when you're a tourist, you're walking around for hours, mm. you just need to go in and fucking use somewhere. Yep. It's hard, because here, you can go into a pub and just yeah. piss, do a shit, and yeah. leave, and no one's looking at you like, have you purchased anything? Some places, yeah. we've been starting to do it in some smaller cafes. 
Like Cal's having a sit right down at a yeah, cafe pubs, the other pubs day. are very generous with their toilets. Yeah, they yeah, are. yeah. I reckon anyone who's selling a lot of beer has to be generous with their toilets. Yeah. Yeah. But toilet generosity is hard to find. It in is, the world. it is. And I will admit, I will admit, so, you know, I, I can part, if, if that's what the argument was about, I can yeah. partially empathise. Yeah. Partially. But, um, Partially, it's still yeah. an extreme response. Yeah, but it's kind of like you know, it is bullshit. This fucking. Well, if that was, if that was me, if I really, really needed a crap, yeah, really needed a crap, and there was someone behind the counter in Morton saying you can't use the bathroom, and I was saying, well, the bathroom's right there. They're it's not right, budging. It's, it's right fucking there. I can see it. And they go, no, no, it's for staff only, right? Because that's the usual line, right? Staff mm-hmm. only. And uh, if in that situation, I'm going, no, 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 I am turtle heading right now. This is on. Yeah. I am about to take a shit. Yeah. You must let me just do me a solid this one time. Just yeah, do me yeah. a favor. I'm not I'll asking buy you to change, something next week. I'm not know? asking you to change your policy. I'm not asking you to invite everyone into the toilet. I'm just saying, just, just me. That's what they'll say as well. If we let you, we have to, let we have to open the floodgates. Yeah. Everyone does it. Yeah, exactly. Like, is everyone going to suddenly go? Oh, you're allowed to poo in here now. Exactly. They're not talking. We're no, not that's talking right. about it. That's right. No, if, if you're, but in that situation. If they said, no, we don't care about your pooing needs, I might go outside and poo in the garden. I might. That's probably... Okay. I might, out of spite. That would be my spite. Right outside. I'm going to go outside and poo in your garden. You find a little bit of privacy still. A little bit of privacy. You've got a bit of a, a bit of protection, a wall, a plan. Yeah. So you haven't completely... And you're pooing on soil. Yep. Which you will eventually buy at a grade. Yep. So, you know, and, and that to me would feel like my protest... I would go, that's right, I've just pooed in your garden. That's not normal for it's me. It's not bad. You haven't, not, you haven't completely That would be my, my little fuck you. That would yeah. be my, no, you should have been a good bloke, let me use the loo. I'm going to yeah. have a poo in your garden. Yeah. But I think pooing indoors, not so much. Making a scene of it. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to find ways to get back yeah. that, are, that are less fucking yeah. in someone's face, don't you? You do. you got to try and find a little win yeah. somewhere. So they, I'll, I'll pay that. That's yeah. not bad, Moz. Just, yeah. yeah, fucking snap, but, it, snap one off in the garden. In the garden? Yeah. yeah. I mean, wipe your bum with some leaves like you're camping. That's good. Yeah. It's down to earth. It is. It is very natural. All uh, right. Well, yeah, that's the strange news story. Yeah. Um, I don't think we do a rating system for strange news. Really just do it for movies. Look, hopefully everyone's okay in this situation. As we said, if anyone can reach out to the Tim Hortons employee, find, find out if he got... Hit or not, not yeah. for comical reasons, for genuine, sincere, yeah. caring reasons. Uh, that would be great to know. And, uh, you know, hopefully she's all right too. Because it's not a good headspace to be in. No. It's a bit of a rock bottom. It is. When she sees that video, she might feel a little embarrassed. Yep. Let's hope. Yep. Yeah. So hopefully everyone's all right. And, yeah, uh, yeah that's that's a fucking critical analysis of the poo story, Moss. Oh, yeah. Our thoughts go out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So let's take, a good, let's take a break here to talk to everyone. Okay. We're not going anywhere. We're sticking here and talking to you. Um, so hashtag ask advice. Now is the time for hashtag ask advice and then I'm going to do some shout outs uh, for people who are subscribing people who have sent some bits uh, we've got some people on the bits board Yay. on the leaderboard that's fun uh, so I'll get to those shout outs and those thank yous momentarily um, in the meantime we'll do ask advice I'm going to just grab a quick beer do it just uh, give us a second just you know don't rush in pace yourselves We're just going to have a quick breath, but it is time for Ask Advice. We need a little music. A little sting. We need a sting. Ask Advice. Ask Advice. Ask Advice. Ask Advice on the Friday night. Ask Advice with Ozzy and Mozza. Ask Advice. It'll be nice. Oh, good! Yeah, Yeah, see. (laughs) Nice. We'll get that made into a song. Yep, ready to go. Okay. Package it up. what have we got here? Fuck me. All right. Shit, it's moving tonight. You guys are good. You guys are having a chat. What have we got here? 420 people in. Fuck, that's all right. Uh, okay. God, does this slow-mo thing work? I don't think I need it yet, but I need to start looking at that slow-mo. Uh, I don't know. Ha, ha, ha. Ah shit! What? Oh, what? Oh, oh. oh. No, I'm just, I'm just looking. I'm just processing. Just bear with me. Just okay. bear with me, everyone. 
Um, there's there's a lot to process here. We're not doing Yanni and Laurel. We had a discussion about that previously. We're not getting involved. We're not. We're not. We prefer poo stories. Yep. <clears throat> High culture. How about. do I quit my job in the most legendary way possible, Chief Coco Bear? Wow. How do I quit my job in the most legendary way possible? Is the first ask wow. advice question I've chosen tonight, Moz. Yep. Okay. Um. Well, okay. There's so many ways you could do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's obviously about getting creative. Yep. Um. I would say now. Is the objective here to quit or to get fired? What's better? They wrote quit. Quit. So let's go with quit. Okay. Okay. Um, I would suggest first a costume. That's fun. Yeah. Superhero. Yeah. Anything. Just something big, colourful, over the top, completely inappropriate for whatever you're doing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Fucking SpongeBob. Yep. Humpty Dumpty. No, Grimace. Yep. Ronald. Yep. Pirate. Yep. Wiggle. Yep. I mean, that's pretty basic, though. It's like purple skivvy or something. Yeah, no, that's not enough. No, go, go, go. I'd go pirate. I'm choosing pirate. Choosing pirate? Yeah, like full Jack Sparrow. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, so costume. Yep. Um, probably like an old school, like a uh, loud hailer come bullhorn. A you, what? You know, you know, the, you know the, the old fashioned bloody, you know, with a, with a trigger and the, the bloody, the cone and you, you speak into it and it shouts to her. Oh, okay, okay, okay. A okay. okay. loud a bullhorn, what do you be, you know? Megaphone. Megaphone. A megaphone. A megaphone. A megaphone. Yeah, that's that. a mainstream term. Megaphone. Yeah, yeah, have a megaphone. Get a bloody megaphone, because I think volume is important. Megaphone, costume. Yep. And what else? Oh, uh, I, I think you need to gather everyone in your workplace into one area. Make a scene, make a gather round, bring yeah. it in, guys, bring it in. Yeah, well, because these days everyone's got an evacuation area. Yep. So maybe you want to phone in a bomb threat or oh, wow. or uh, or set off the fire alarm or whatever whatever protocol your workplace has, because every, every workplace has got them now. Yep. You know, there's a fire, there's a bomb, there's an earthquake, there's something, because there's always some emergency evacuation. Yeah, yeah, there's a muster point. There's a muster point. Yeah. Where you've got to tick the names off. Yep. So maybe maybe make that happen, get everyone to the muster point. Yep. Um, and maybe then fireworks. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, a little firecracker or two. Well, yeah, just set off some pyrotechnics. Theme song. A, a light show. Good. Yeah. DJ? Oh, DJ. Gotta have a DJ. Yeah. Bit of doof doof. Yeah. That'd be good. It's like a spontaneous pop up party. Then it turns into a pizza pop up party. It's about a flash mob of like dancers come in. That's the most legendary way to quit your job. Because anyway, you just get up on stage and this is the, um, let's all get fucked up because this is the fuck you yeah. to this job. Party. It's a good twist because I was worried a bomb threat or something might be a dick move because no. we want to stay legendary. I'm yeah. like, well, if you're no, fucking. No. Causing a false emergency? Are you just being a dickhead who quits a job? Well, or are yeah, you being legendary? But you turn it round. Yeah, that's right. Because you would have everyone going fucking hell a bomb threat. You would. You would. You, that that's pushing the creative line. Yep, yep, yep. Because you're really risking traumatizing people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they run straight out into the middle of this, this the car park's just a pop up party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you've got bloody food vans. Food vans. Yep. You've got you've got a band set up going. Yeah, yeah. You've got it all happening. It's like <laughs> the pyros go off. Good. Yeah. Good. And it's all... Expensive, though. Yeah, a little bit. But, but you've maybe, got a new job. Maybe if you're quitting, you can find a way to charge the company for it. Good. Maybe that little last act of embezzlement. Yeah. It's kind so of... So you got to have someone in on it, maybe. Maybe yeah, a boss or something. Yeah, inside man. So if you've worked there for a while, hopefully you've worked there for a while, fucking Chocolate Cocoa Bear, was that the name? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chief Cocoa Bear. Chief Cocoa Bear. Chocolate yeah. Cocoa Bear. Chief Cocoa Bear. If you've worked there for a while, hopefully you can pull some strings mm. and, and get a bit of collaboration. From from someone high up, yep. like this is how I want to go. I'm telling a, a inner circle. Yep. There's a small crew who knows about it. Yep. And uh, look, I've I've added a lot of value to the company over the years. Yeah. So I think we can budget for this. Yeah. I mean, I've crunched some numbers already. Or maybe um, you just and if you, if you don't have a lot of friends at work because you always hated the job. Yep. If you've always just phoned it and you don't have any social capital, as we say. Yeah. yeah. Then you just blackmail one key member of management. Okay. Yeah. You just get some because there's always something on someone you can find. Yeah, you, you yeah. Can dig hard enough. Yeah, you know, follow them around, take some photos, compromising positions. You know, hack their Facebook. You'll get something, and uh, you know, and set up a false Tinder account for them, threaten to show their wife. Yeah, uh, yeah, that sort of thing. 
Yeah. And then you Yeah. Just, uh, legendary though, Moz. Okay. You're getting okay. Uh, you're getting a bit criminal. I'm getting a little bit deep cover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're pushing the boundaries. Okay. Remember, I mean we've come up with a twist here. So yeah, Okay. We want to stay in the legendary zone. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to ask Chocolate Coco Bear to go into fucking criminality. Chief, no, true. Chief Coco Bear. No, true. You want to stay legendary. So yeah, I don't, want to, I don't want to fuck up Chief Coco Bear's life. No, you want him to get another job. I don't want him to have a situation where he's like shitting on bloody, you know, Tim Horton. Wars. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that to happen to Chief Coco Bear. Why did I listen to those dickheads on Twitch? Yeah, no, that was a, that was a bad moment. It was a terrible ask advice. They helped me make some bad choices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. But that's our suggestion anyway, and yeah, yeah. we'll stick with it. Yeah. We'll double down. You want a pop-up party, essentially, mm-hmm. is the legendary way to quit a job. Uh, we'll do another Ask Advice, because we're generous as fuck. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> These are good, guys. These are really good tonight. This is sensational. Fuck me. Some of them are deep. Um, some of them are big. Oh, that one's, oh, there's one that's just too big. I can't read it in time. Uh, maybe you can send some throughout the week as well to the email address and then I'll consider them too because there's a bit coming in. Uh, Alright, some of these are coming up a, a couple of times now. Thank you. Thank you for resubmitting. That's fine. That's fine. We won't call that spam. You're just trying to get involved. We appreciate that. That's good. Uh, look, I like this one. I do like the fucking silly shit. Um, what do you do if the cashier gives you extra money when you buy something? Gives you extra money. Yep. So you've bought something, the mm-hmm. way I understand this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let me go back up. Who was who this wanker? Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go, you dickhead? Uh, what do you do with the... Okay, yeah, Black Jesus 1301 has asked, what do you do if the cashier gives you extra money after you buy something? Wow. Which I feel a lot of people have experienced yeah. at least once or twice. Yep. I feel I've been through this before. Mm. I'm a bit I'm a bit foggy as to what went down. Mm-hmm. Maybe I've blacked it out because yep. I didn't say anything and yep. I felt guilty. Yep. But I feel like I've had it happen before. I bought yeah. something and they've given me an extra tenner. An extra tenner. Or something tenor. like that, I reckon, yeah. is what bloody Black Jesus is talking about. Yeah. They've given you a fucking tenner or a fiver or maybe it's 50 cents, but whatever. Yep. You notice at the time? Yeah. Uh, let's say you notice at the time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm not going to check later. No. No, I'm not like conscientious. No. No. But if you're good with money, you check at the time and you're like, yep, that's the right change. You See, add it up. I worry a lot about people who are in kind of low paid jobs like that. Because, because you know, cashiers are not making a bundle. Let's be honest. And uh, if I think that you're an attentive person who's just just made a, a just a dick, just just a mistake, right? They've just they've just moment of inattention. They've handed me a fifty when they should have handed me a ten or something. That's a big one. That's a big one. Um, I think I'm gonna empathise in the moment and go, oh, this person's gonna fucking their count's gonna be out by forty bucks at the end of the day. They're gonna fucking they're gonna get ass reamed yeah, by something. The float. Thing. Some middle manager cunt's going to give them a hard time. I can feel bad about themselves. Yeah, yeah, the float was under. The, the float was under. Yeah. Yeah, and they're going to get accused of stealing or some shit. Yep. yep. Um, so I think, I think I would, I would in that situation, I would go, oh, you've, you've given me a 50 there. Um, what about five? Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not even sure I'd notice. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even that attentive. Yeah, would yeah. Would I notice a five dollar anomaly? Uh, if it was in my favour. Maybe later. You might be yeah. like, I don't yeah. know if I should have... See, once I've got Do you home, keep receipts? Do you get receipts for shit? No. no. Well, no. I usually take them because I can't avoid... I hate the awkwardness of saying no to the receipt. Yeah, it's already printing. Yeah, it's already like, printing. Do you want a receipt? Then, like, well, usually they've already... got it in their hand. They're about to stick it in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, do you want this receipt? You know, at that, that point, I'm usually too... Oh, you fucking give it to me. Don't have a choice anymore. It's, 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 I'm just going to throw it in the recycling when I get home. Yeah, yeah. No one's going to look at it. No. Um... But you know they've already fucking they've already wasted the tree printing it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, can't, you can't reject it. Yeah. Uh, one thing I will say every time it's happened to me a couple of times. Every time a, a product is scanned wrong, I always in my favour. I always take that. Never say a thing. Never, right. Okay. Never say a thing. 
So the price hasn't matched up. Well, that's that's you back on the cashier. That's 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 the, the that's the shop as a whole fucking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Someone in stock take and pricing shit and labeling shit. You mean like the price on the yeah. shelf? What yeah. you've seen? Yep. Then comes up as being under. Yeah. When you're buying it, so you're like fucking three bucks, four dollars under or something. Yeah. Once many. And you're like, once many years ago in a Kmart, I bought a uh, I bought a rugby headgear like a rugby helmet. Yep. And uh, forty bucks it was on the shelf. And it took it and it scanned for three dollars seventy. Three dollars seventy. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. I forty dollar rugby helmet scanned for three dollars seventy, and I saw it come up. And uh, the young cashier, she turns to me and she goes, "That'll be three dollars seventy. And I just looked at her and I said, "Really? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll throw her a bone. I Give said, her an opportunity." Yeah, I said, "Go three seventy. And she's like, "Yep." And I said, three seventy. She she's stayed yeah. confident. Yeah, yeah. She said, "Yep." Yeah. And she was just, yep, yeah, that's what it costs. And you I'm didn't like, say, so it's on special. You didn't go that far. No, no, but I did, I did say it a couple of times. Gave her a couple three of seven windows. 370, really? And she said, yep. Yeah. So I just handed her the $5 note, got me $1.30 change, and uh, I went home. That's uh, good. Yeah. That's a big I, I didn't have an ethical dilemma there at all. No. Nah. No, nah. nah. well, you communicated. Yeah, that's right. It's communication. Gave her a chance. You gave her a chance. You gave her multiple windows of yeah. opportunity. It was just bartering. Yeah. Yeah, she gave me a price. So I said, deal. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd accept that too. I, yeah. I, I'm sure I have at one point. You know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of when I've been the cashier oh, at yeah. like the fucking video store or something, and I've handed someone back $20 over or something, and quite a lot of people said something. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was, I, because I blank out a lot and yeah. I daydream a lot. Yep. And my mind wanders. It does. And I don't fucking pay attention. No, when you're intellectually understimulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can be in those jobs. Yeah, it was in the video store and scan and it's like, yep, yeah, you, your password, you yeah. fucking yeah. beat the disc uh, yeah. out it goes and they've given you something and you've, you've done 20 or so back and they'll go, oh, that's too much. And uh, I appreciated it from the cashier perspective. Absolutely. Definitely. I was like, oh, thank you. Well, you want to know people are good and they've got your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You do want reassurance on that every once in a while. Yeah. No, I think it's... I, I know me and I would really... It would be based completely on my impression and relationship with that cashier. Yeah. Because if they are an arsehole or if they just look like they didn't give a shit about their job... Yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck it. I'll keep the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if they weren't giving me any love... That's a good point. You've yeah. got a small chance yeah. to read the situation. Yeah. What we're talking about here, this is a good question because it's very... Yeah. It's quick. Yeah. It's a fleeting moment. Exactly. So you've got to weigh it up super fast. Mm. You've got to go, okay, 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 okay. Uh, you know, something's not right. Something's yeah. not right. Maybe you can't put your finger on it at the time either. Mm. But yeah, you need to you need to weigh up the person as well yeah. and, and what you fucking think of them. Yeah, exactly. Um. But if they look yeah. like just an honest person trying to make a living who's just had a had a moment of cherry brain fart. Yeah, don't take advantage of them then. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. But weigh up the other factors. If they're a wanker. Yeah. Uh, or if they're over if they're hyper confident mm. that they're doing a good job mm. without any kind of fucking yeah. modesty. Like you said, you're like 370, 370, 3, you gave them so many opportunities. Yeah. But they just were like, yep, yep, yep. It's like, yeah. okay. You yep. think you know it all. Yep. You think you know it all. You're happy, I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes and no, I guess. Tough yeah. one. Depends on the cashier. Depends on the on the depends on the shop in some way. And how much you like the honest. shop. Are you gonna keep coming back there? Exactly. You, what gonna... type of relationship do you want to build yeah. with this business? Yeah, is that like the shop downstairs from your flat? You know, so is there a risk that tomorrow they're gonna say, Hey, I fucking overpay you yesterday and you said nothing? Uh, that could get awkward. Oh, that's yeah. fucked. Yeah. You get pulled up on it. You don't want to shit in your own nest. No. In your own coffee shop. <laughs> you don't want to shit in your own coffee Tim shop. Tim Horton's not going to shit near Tim Horton's. No. That would be madness. Yeah. Assuming there is a Tim Horton. I just think there is. I there is. I think it was a hockey player. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to name a coffee shop Tim Horton unless there is a Tim Horton. I think so. Canadians, correct me if I'm wrong, if you're even fucking awake. You might be on the East Coast. Yep. I think he was a hockey player. He yeah. was an athlete or some shit. Okay. I think stuff okay. I learnt in Canada last year. Yeah, a generally year. famous bloke. <laughs> yeah. I found that was a good one. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yes and no in answer to the question. Difficult. Yeah. Uh, there's many factors to consider, Black Jesus. you got to be like, well, you know, yeah, do I want a continuous relationship with this potential business? Um, and, and do I like this cashier's fucking face? Yeah. Uh, do, I, do I clarify a couple of times? And if they double down, then... Yep. It's their own fault. Yep. 
few things to weigh up. So and, and let's be brutally just honest. Just think about it. Probably your own financial situation in that moment. Yeah. Like if you'd only just lost your job and been evicted from your house, um, you would probably, you know, if you were living under a bridge. Yeah. You know, say you had like three pets. You had a dog, a cat and a ferret to feed. Yeah. Um, you might be desperate enough at that moment to take the extra money. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot to consider. And Great no, question. Yeah. Good Great question. question. Good Hashtag question, Black ask, Jesus. More yeah, note. good work. Good work. Hashtag ask advice. Uh, that concludes it. We'll do another one uh, towards the end there. Uh, Dan, the tech guy, has a couple of notes for us there. Thank, Thank you, you guys. We're hitting the table a bit. We're getting some new microphone uh, boom arms. Oh, boom arms. From the road over in... Uh, the, the road microphones over in Sydney. They're sending... Uh, uh, I think it's fucking Matthew there. Matt. Yeah, he's sending over some fucking things. So oh, good on it you, shouldn't Matthew. distort as much when we get animated. Yep. And we're like, Hurrah! hitting the t- you see, I'm sure I fucked it just then. You probably fucked it then. I fucked it big time. Yep. So appreciate the notes. Dan, the tech guy, everyone, if you're new, he lives over there in the bathroom. Yep. Doesn't come out a lot. No. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't do talking. No. He's not big on speech. No. We take him for a walk a couple of times a day. We take him for a walk. We yeah. feed him. Yeah. Do you want a drink, Dan? Do you want a drink? You want cider or beer? Beer. Yeah, get buddy Dan a beer, for God's sake. Let's keep Dan fucking hydrated. I think it's Twist, mate. There you go, Dan. <laughs> He's thirsty. He is. He's a thirsty fella. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so that's Dan, the tech guy. He lives in the bathroom. Uh, he's happy. Yeah. And he's, uh, and he's got a full life. He's got a full life. Um, so that was hashtag ask advice. We'll do one more round towards the end of the show. It is a packed show, Moz. I'm trying to keep the pace up. Okay. Uh, Let's keep but, cracking. But it's packed. Um, shout outs. I've got to do some shout outs. Do some shout outs. Because I appreciate you. Uh, so let me go over here. Let me refresh the Streamlabs. Uh, if there's a better way to do these shout outs, let me know as well, people. Um, yeah, I just go to Streamlabs and look at who's who's the latest wanker. We got the event list coming up in the corner there. Yeah. So you can see your name come up. That's fun. If you uh, subscribe or send some bits. Oh, who have we got here? Oh, we got it. We got a Twitch Prime. We've got a Prime. Uh, Efan Dally. Efan. Efan Dally. Thank you for your Prime subscription. Uh, Spooky Frenchy for your 500 bits. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's sweet. Thank so, you. Solid as. Spooky Frenchy. Cheers for your bits. Uh, Snoot for your uh, Prime subscription. Cheers. Danny for your two bits. Uh, Downsy, yeah, Downsy. Look, we'll take whatever bits we can get. Um, uh, Chungy two T W. Cheers for your hundred bits. Jacob underscore Kaz. Cheers for your hundred bits. Uh, Far nine four four eight for your Prime subscription. Nathan Kempshaw for your Prime subscription. Fuck, there's a bit going on. Uh, Skanuta said, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Uh, the Danny Mike. Cheers for your Prime subscription. Uh, that was one hour ago, Mr. Abs... Ab... Ab... Mr. Abkaskan? Good. ABC Sam. Mr. ABC Sam. Is that what you're doing? That's fun. Uh, cheers for your Prime subscription. And your 1,500 bits. Bloody hell. Mr. ABC Stam. Round of applause for Mr. ABC Stam, everyone. Making it rain Sam. bits. You're making it rain bits. Yeah. Because I fucking take my bits, you dickheads. Throwing it like poo in a Tim Hortons. <laughs> Throwing it like poo in a Tim Hortons. 1,500 bits. I'd say you're top of the leaderboard there. And uh, and your subscription as well. Cheers. Cheers, you wanker. Uh, church times HM times something. Cheers for your Prime subscription. Uh, that was oh, that was ten hours ago. Uh, a few other people there. Spiffy Sparkles, uh, fucking athlete, college Jadeska. I don't. I fucked that up entirely. Probably. Um, Perb Grant, Purple Grand. That was nineteen hours ago. Plopper. Plopper. <laughs> it's all Tim Hortons tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheers, Plopper. Uh, that was that was like yesterday. Everyone who subscribed during the week as well yeah. uh, we really fucking appreciate it when we're not streaming there uh, you're a bunch of of absolute legends so cheers for that as I said earlier if you've got Amazon Prime you can connect it to Twitch Prime and you get one free sub so use it for this channel yeah because yeah it's good yeah 
Uh, all right, that's good. What have we got there? Oh, one minute ago. All right, I'll grab him quickly. Uh, who was that? Chad Wico, 101 bits. Cheers, yes. Chad. Uh, Pogue Mahone, 100 yeah. bits. Cheers. Sniper, 7,000, 700,000. Kind of okay for your subscription. N16, M16, M16. Uh, cheers. And, uh, yeah, Spooky Frenchie there with your subscription too. All right, I'll do another round at the end. Uh, look, we'll try and wrap it up in 40, 45 minutes there. We'll go a bit over time again. Uh, last week I went 40 minutes over time because I wasn't keeping track. No. That's fine. Got no time for watching the time. No, no. All right, so that is uh, fucking tech. Strange news. Yep. Two rounds of Ask Advice. Yep. And some shout outs. We're getting into the business end. Okay. With this one tonight. All right. Mozza. Yep. Uh, Deadpool 2. Deadpool. Now, this is Entertainment where... movie yep. review. Are we doing that now? Yes. Okay, so we should say spoiler bloody warning right now. Spoiler warning for yeah. Deadpool 2. If you need to drop off the stream at this point, thank you. Yeah, no, good on yous. You're, you're, you're a fucking legend. We don't want to spoil Deadpool 2 for you because we were quick. Yeah. We saw it last night. Saw it last. We didn't fuck around. We didn't fuck around. No. We jumped on it. Yep. There was a line. Oh, yeah. And we stood in a line. We stood in the line. And we don't like standing in lines. No. We, we were calm. Yep. We were collected. We yep. went through the line. We got our little seats. Yep. And we had a great time. We so, great time. Uh, yeah, fucking spoiler warning. We do do spoilers. So, I'm just going to say that a couple more times. Spoiler warning for Deadpool 2 coming up. It's in the stream name as well there. Uh, and I just got to say it. So, please, don't stick around if you don't want spoilers. Don't come bitching to me after. Nah. You spoiled the movie, Aussie man, because yeah. I've said it six times. You said it a lot of times. Spoilers. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Spoilers. Don't come shitting in our Tim Hortons. Over, Don't over come saying sh- you, you weren't. You're, like, you're fucking beating that. Oh, mate. You love that Tim oh, Hortons I, shit joke. Oh, mate, it, it's it's my reference for everything now. I think it's good. Yeah. You can milk that. Oh, it's it's just going to become my saying. Now. You can milk it for a week or two. Yeah. If I get pulled over for speeding in, on the way home by a traffic cop. I was just like, mate, you have shat all over my Tim Hortons right now. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Just a mess. Yep. You shat my Frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Deadpool 2. Spoilers coming up now. We are reviewing Deadpool 2. I sound like this is false advertising now. I'm just saying we're doing it. Yep. We're not doing... We're doing it. No, we're not threatening to anymore. We're doing it. We're doing it. Here we go. Deadpool 2 review. So what did you think? Oh, I bloody loved it. I absolutely, I enjoyed it so much. Uh, I think the Deadpool franchise, and we can say franchise now, there's two movies, is such a welcome uh, antidote to, to superhero movies starting to take themselves far too seriously. Um, I uh, We're not here to talk about Avengers Infinity War, but for me, having seen those two movies close together, the difference in emotional response I had to Deadpool because and this is Deadpool it's funny it's irreverent it, it's it's consciously taking the piss it's very meta and yet I am far was far more emotionally involved in Deadpool than I was in Infinity War mm-hmm. um, you know great action uh, I think the word you said after we saw it last night was fearless and I, I think I think that absolutely captures it it's just it's a movie that gives zero shits and just goes for it yeah um, and it's just I just thought it was a thing of beauty, an absolute thing of beauty. I was there for the full ride. Uh, The story worked for me. It was funny as fuck. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Really, there was some genuine moments of uh, of feeling in there. A little bit of heartache. Yeah. Um, Opened with a, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then just kept peddling. Yeah, Um, yeah, yeah. I really liked it. Yeah, well, I think it was a steaming pile of Tim Horton's shit. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I fucking gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. No, it was great. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, Fearless is what I said when I came out of the cinema. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, it was. I don't know. It just popped into my head. Because it was refreshing again. Like, the first one was refreshing. And they're like, okay, we can make a very kind of vulgar, R-rated superhero film. And it makes a shitload of money. It makes yeah. a dickload of money. So, you know, studios, Fox and Marvel, it's a big tick yeah. on the business side. Yeah. Um. And that was good, but but it was refreshing again. It was like let, let's let's take everything that was successful about the first one, 
and let's turn it up again. Yeah. Let's dial it up again. Yeah. And that was pretty. That that was that's where I got fearless from. I'm like, okay, they 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 they're not scared of taking some risks here. Um, in terms of the violence and 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 just the language and and the kind of crassness or the vulgarity. I mean, it's funny. Yeah. It is funny. Um. So I did like it. I did like that tone and the fact they just turned it all the way up there. Um, everything that was good about the first one just piled it on. Uh, story, I thought, was was good too. That held up all right. Like, yeah, you alluded to it there, uh, that, that opening sequence. Um, they fucking... Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. They fucking... <clears throat> mm. Kill off the misses. Mm. So that was... That was that's the first kind of 10, 15 minutes. And it's like, okay, fuck me. They've, they've done it. They've gone for it. Yeah. <laughs> they've just killed off that character. And, uh, and it was emotional. And yeah. it, it had you invested straight away. Yeah. Because he's kind of... And it was great for the Deadpool character because he hits rock bottom. He's like a celebrity you want to watch who fucking <laughs> spirals out of control. Yeah, yeah. You feed off of it and you're like, fuck, that's just... that's. Yeah, the the things they can do with him when he doesn't give a fuck. Yep. Entirely, like, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun and emotional, and uh, to kind of find something to cling to, to to kind of find a reason to live again. Yeah. Was good through through the kid who he didn't want to to have become a killer. Yeah. He's got to save a kid. You know? Yeah. Yeah. A, a pretty simple story. Yeah. Well, that's it. so in, in amongst all this vulgarity and darkness and, and death and gore and kind of unbridled sexuality and all that stuff, this is kind of this core of innocence in the center of it all, which really kind of shines out for me. It's ultimately, it's about saving a teenage boy from becoming a cunt. Um, from fucking up his life. Yeah. From becoming a murderous dickhead. Um, yeah. And coming back to a path of redemption, so yeah, I, I thought that was really kind of sweet. It had this, it had this little just seed of like you know of, of wholesome, you know, sweet kind of values in it, right in the middle of all this mess. And uh, it's I an innocence, little, isn't it? Yeah, there, there's yeah. A, there's like a little core of innocence to it. Yeah, totally. Which is good. Yeah, a juxtaposition. Absolutely. To that, to that fucking full on tone. That's right. Where it's violent and yeah, yeah. decapitations and that's and right. But it, it never in becomes. Half. It never becomes sickly sweet. It never becomes like oh that's corny, that's cheesy because it, it's surrounded with all this you know mess and carnage and and cynicism. Yeah. But the cynicism and the innocence together kind of you know it really works. I like the structure too. Yeah. I've been thinking about the structure a bit more today. Like it is, it is like little vignettes in a way. Is the opening sequence with the misses and and the fucking thugs that that attack him, um, and then there's 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 other vignettes where he's getting the X Force team together, and yeah. then there's lots of little kind of side quests or something, and it, it all still adds up. Like yeah, there's the through line to kind of save the kid because he was gonna be a father, he was planning to be a father, so he's he's trying to get some meaning in his life to to yeah save this kid. But there's there's yeah. There was just like 15 minute sequences. The whole X-Force sequence was was kind of funny as fuck and yeah, <laughs> auditioning yeah. for, for team members and things like that. Yeah. Um, and it was a while before Cable came into it too. Yeah. We kind of had a lot of a lot of setup and a lot of sequences. And uh, yeah, I liked the structure of it. I think it, it, it wasn't a predictable structure. No. It was fast and, and there was sequences to it. Yep. Instead of one, you know, act one, act two, act three. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. What do you think of the characters? Oh, I loved them. Yeah. I thought they were all they were all fucking great. And again, you know, you've got that brilliant meta textual thing going on with Deadpool where he kind of references things like from within the expectations and tropes of the genre. So he's kind of mocking it while it's happening. Yeah. Um But the characters were all bloody awesome, I yeah. thought. Um you know, Deadpool himself, because you've got this guy who's ultimately his whole shtick is being a dick, but he's kind of trying to find purpose, trying to reinvent himself, trying to be better. Um, you know, as funny as that scene was where he's apologising to Cyclops after Colossus for being a shit mate, there actually was some heart in that scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, with, with him kind of saying, I haven't always been a good friend to you. you know, it was it was nice. And i got to say, I really liked Cable. Um, I yeah, like, you like your Josh Brolin? Oh, jo I mean, Josh Brolin's fucking outstanding. I like anything he does. But, but you know, tough, dark, 
purposeful, you know, this kind of Terminator like resolve and but that was great. It reminded me of eighties, like in a kind of eighties action movie time. Ta- uh, yeah. Time. Yeah. And, and probably through his character, this kind of sci-fi time travel thing mm. going on, where I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like a Terminator or, or even the cheesy fucking films, Time Cop with yeah, Van yeah. Damme and yeah. And then there's old prison sequence as well. Uh, which uh, there was a movie was it Fortress or some shit I don't know some cheesy fucking kind of 80s movies aesthetically it reminded me of that stuff too and and, and it just just owned it like Cable's character was this kind of you know kind of muscle hard man and uh, yeah I liked it the way it was shot the the art department and everything too it's like it was a very 80s action film late 80s early 90s kind of vibe yep yep but cool. then Cable kind of softens and he becomes likeable towards the end of the movie yeah you know, yeah yeah you know what I mean still a hard ass um, but you know that, that kind of little bromance starts to emerge what uh, do you think of Luck like the uh, Domino oh she was fun that was good she was super fun I really like that because there's a lot of conversation about the strong woman character mm. Amelia Clark fucking Khaleesi had, had kind of cracked the shits recently it's like what is this term why are we still using this term like uh, so the the domino character was kind of like this this piss take yeah again again this satirization of tropes and things of this strong woman flawless character <laughs> she's like and it's irritating it's like nothing 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 can touch her yeah. luck is her superpower yeah she doesn't need to develop anything she doesn't need to learn she's just perfect and we watch her being perfect the whole time and that to me is a is a pretty big kind of message or, or satirization of gender and characters and films it's like yep this strong female character you're not going to question that she's going to kick ass she's just going to fucking kick ass which yeah it's it's good it's very clever because there, there was a time where it's like yep that strong female character term was i mean it, it means different things to different people i guess it can mean they've got a large role as much as the male lead uh, or the character is written in a in a way that's and got kind of masculine traits of being in charge and, and saying no and telling people what to do. Or it can mean it's strong in terms of it's, you know, the character's fleshed out. She's a fleshed out character with different layers and shit, um, even weaknesses. So it, it means different things for different people, but sometimes it feels like it just means you're a strong female character who's flawless. And that's become a bit of a shitty thing because you can't connect with them. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, well, where's the where's the humanity then? You just Wonder what? Woman. I mean, what was her flaw? She's kind of a bit immature. Yeah. Bad at romance. Yeah. Like yeah. The, there's like a breakup or the the, the the first love goes to shit. Yeah. Is that a flaw? Nah. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. Just so laugh. yeah. So it's kind of doing a piss take of. Of, of, of the strong female character what was too. lovely about Domino was she was so laid back because of the luck power right yeah yeah, yeah. things can't go wrong for us she's always relaxed I love that because mm. often the strong female character in an action movie is super tough grim determined yep. purposeful like you see a scowl on her face you yeah know, she's just always whereas Domino's like well fucking you know I'm lucky yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so everything does go away yeah she can't really suffer any great setback or hardship yeah I really like that it was a fun you know it was a comedic delivery yeah that's right yeah but it was also um yeah it was good it was good it had me thinking about it a lot today i think it was intentional they were like yeah we're gonna make it flawless and you won't question it and i think deadpool gets irritated at the end he's like actually irritated he's like how does nothing go wrong for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it was good yeah i was thinking about it a lot today because we watched uh have you seen i tonya i mean there's a big shift yeah, oh, I haven't seen it. Margot Robbie? Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of. I haven't seen it. Super flawed. Yeah. Kind yeah. of female character, like just low self esteem, low, f- but then arrogant, but then like stuck in abusive situations. And it's just. Margot Robbie smashes it. Fucking brilliant. Um, so I'm thinking about these kind of female characters that have come up that are flawed now. And, mm. and, and, and Amelia Clark being. Con- kind of just over the term as well it's like yeah it's an interesting time to kind of have these that stuff questioned so I was, uh, yeah I like <laughs> I like that character and I think it was intentional that they're going to take the piss because because with the girlfriend dead mm. with the missus dead mm. there is no other kind of female character in the movie the blind woman the blind woman she's fun. fun she's fun yeah 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 that's good 
Yeah, I love the characters. I love the X Force stuff. Yeah. I wish Vanisher survived. Yeah. <laughs> I had favourites, Peter. Yeah. Oh, right. Peter's the best. <laughs> it was good. It was super good. Yeah, characters were good. Story's good. The structure was fun. Super fast paced. And yeah, uh, yeah I like that. Good gags. Good gags. And, and, and again, spoilers, spoilers, but the reveal uh, of Juggernaut as one of the big bads, I don't know, that was actually in a comic book movie, like a villain stepping onto the stage who can kick everyone's ass. Hmm. You know, uh, that was great. The, hmm. All that stuff was just like, because uh, you remember the terrible, what was it, X-Men Last Stand, where they had uh, the, yeah. what's that dude? The dude, the, 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 the footy player from, from Britain played Juggernaut. I mean, that was a forgettable movie for a lot of reasons, but... I totally have forgotten it. Oh, it, yeah. It's in the recycling bin. For someone yeah. who's a comic book nerd like me and a fan of old X-Men comics, that iteration of the Juggernaut was terrible. But the yeah. ju- Juggernaut in this movie was just, holy fuck, that's a fucking Juggernaut. It was great. Yeah. Well, yeah. they deliver on what they're going to say. Yeah. I'm going to rip you in half. Yeah. Like, and he did. Thank you. Yeah, you do. You <laughs> deliver on what you say. Yeah. It's not a fucking false product, you no, know? That is a villain take, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's ripping people in half. Yeah. It's yeah. efficient storytelling, efficient yeah. characters. It's like, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank fuck. You're not insulting the audience's intelligence. You're not, you're not watering anything down because you want to appeal to everyone. Yeah. It's uh, fearless. Yeah. Fearless as fuck. Yeah. And you can watch it again. You can. I'm looking forward to it. That's an exciting thing. I always like tapping into that feeling. Mm. It's like, can, can I watch this again? You know, can you just... that that For me, that's fucking... That's good art with anything. A song. Yep. A movie. Yep. It's like, can I thrash this yep. over and over and enjoy it and discover more every time? I, th- I reckon you can. Yep. It was bigger. It was a... Se- I mean, it was a sequel. Yep. Bigger budget. Bigger time code, I think. Yeah, slightly. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. they... they Done all of that stuff. They made yeah. it bigger. and But they did up it. That's the thing. It, yeah. it, it didn't feel like retreading the same ground at all. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How, how many session, how many Cooper's session ales are you doing? Oh, look, I'm, we, we usually just yeah. do stuff we like and we're like four Cooper's session ales. You add a bit of zing. You add a bit of spice yep. with a bag of cashews or something. Yeah. How many Cooper's session ales... For this one, Moz, Deadpool 2. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going 4.9. 4.9? And a kebab. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I'm not, yeah. It's the most fun I've had at the cinema in ages. 4.9 tinnies. And a kebab. And a kebab. Yep. I don't know, what, yeah, five tinnies? Could that even be? I mean, it depends what well, you I add on top. But I, I mean, let's not I don't want to commit it. to five. No, 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 we don't want to do it yet. It's only the third show. Yeah, it's right. So I was, I'm was. i tempted to say five, but I'll say I gave someone else a sip out of the first can. Yep. Just to try it. To check if this is cold. Thank you. Just got Google to check. Yeah. Uh, Google, how's that? Thank you. Uh, but yeah, 4.9 cans and a kebab, a good kebab too. Fuck yes. Yeah, like a, like a double meat diner. Egg cheese, gum yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I did four point eight for Avengers. Yeah. Uh, Infinity War. Yeah. And I, and I stand by that. Yeah, fair enough. Different, different. Yeah, which yeah. is good. Yeah, different, good. Yeah. Uh, but I can't, I can't do this less than that. That's no. the trouble. I, that's the pickle I'm in now. No, you've set the bar. I have set the bar. Yeah. I went in hard early. Yeah. You were like fucking four tinnies and a cigarette butt. That's right. <laughs> for Avengers yeah. I gotta go four point eight still. Yeah. Um, four point eight and a fucking. Oh, pardon, 4.8 and a bloody, I don't know, bag of twisties. Is that good? Yeah. Chicken, or, chicken or cheese? Cheese. Cheese, okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. 4.8 4. and a bag of twisties. That's pretty good. Like a, like a party pack. Mm-hmm. Like a big one. Mm. I mean, 200 grams or something. Yeah, okay. That's all right. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Deadpool 2 is in cinemas now. Check it out. I just like to sound professional. Yeah, good. Like we've got a real show. Yeah. And we cut to an ad break. Like the studio's given us money to promote it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. pretend. Yeah, we haven't got sponsors yet. No sponsors. No. Nah. This is not a sponsorship. No. Neither is that. No. John Deere. If John Deere want to send me a tractor anytime, I'll have a tractor for sure. That's good. I've got no use for a tractor, no where to store it, but I'll take it. Yep. Yep. If someone could get onto that, along with finding out if that Tim Horton's employee is all right. Yep. Get Mozza a tractor, find out if that employees are. We need the North Americans to be logging in right now. All right, well, that's that was our spoiler review. Hopefully, you 
you knew spoilers were coming there. We did have people drop off. Yep. We lost 150 people. So Fair we enough. definitely yep. we definitely butcher the stream yep. doing spoiler reviews. But yeah. I like it. It was exciting. I want to talk about it. We, got Great a movie. we want to talk about it. Yep. Uh, so if you've seen it already, fuck yes. If you haven't and you're still sticking around and you don't give a shit, fuck yes. Yeah. Uh, Okay, well, we're, we're getting close to wrapping it up. I'm not going hugely over time. No. I'm trying to stick to a tight 90. Good. We're on 91. Wow. Yeah. yeah okay. It flies. It does. Fucking flies, Moz. Every time. Yeah, general catch-up. Yep. Tech, strange news. We'll do another ask advice. Yep. Because we are good blokes and yep. we want to talk to you. We want to help people. We do. Yep. So, uh, hashtag, hashtag ask advice. Fucking start firing. <clears throat> Let me refresh this Streamlabs as well. See if I got some more shout outs to do. How's the bits leaderboard going? Has anyone fucking competed to get on top of the bits? We've still got Mr. ABC Sam on top of the bits ladder. Hold on, Mr. ABC Sam. Yeah, smashed it. Smashed it. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying those emoticons as well. I think there's about 10 or so. Bloody hell. Good. Collect the whole set. Collect the whole set. We can keep adding more. Uh, Aussie man needs a sponsor. Yeah, we're talking about it. We might get a sponsor. Well, Road is sending us free shit. Yeah, no, good on Road. Shout out to Road. Shout out to Road. So we, we it wasn't for them, you couldn't hear us. Hey, it wasn't for Road, they wouldn't hear us. True. Yeah, it's an important fucking. It is. Shit. Yep. <laughs> ha. No, that's a big one. I'm going to bank that one quickly. Bank it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm strict. Okay. With how I fucking... You know what I need to do is... There's no way for me to just save it. Okay, we've got one there. We got... Who's that from? H2 underscore D2. Mm -hmm. H2 underscore D2. <clears throat> Shout out to Road. Yep, good shit. Oh, I'll go with this one. We, we, we can knock this one off, and, and I will see if there's any more still that come in. Okay. Uh, it's quieting down. People are leaving the pub. They're leaving the pub. Uh, chat room, Twitch pub. Oh. oh, no. It's getting burpy in here. It's getting burpy. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm English. Should I bother to watch the World Cup? Wow. Hashtag ask advice. Wow. Aussie man and Mozza, I am English. Yep. Should I bother to watch the World Cup? Okay, in brackets, I'll... soccer. Yeah. As if we don't fucking... No, we know. We know what the we World know. Cup is. We yeah. just like to keep saying soccer. Yeah. To no. give people in the Northern Hemisphere the shits. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we know it's football. We know it's the World Cup. Yeah. yeah, we know that. The round ball game we call it down here. Should Should you bother to watch the World Cup? What do you reckon, Mozza? Well, this, I, I, I reckon... So oh, that was, that was H... H2 underscore D2. Okay. Well, I reckon there's some cultural pain here that we're probably not necessarily aware of the context, star because England have a bit of a history of losing World Cup finals. Oh, wow. So I'm... Because now you know... I have no knowledge. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay. So, because you, you know I'm a St. Kilda fan, the AFL. Yeah. And uh, we have a history of losing grand finals. <laughs> um, so I think I understand where H2 underscore D2 is coming from here. Because, you know, he or she has been hurt before. Right. You know, and it's they like... They don't want to keep getting hurt. And, and how many times can you believe and live in hope and just get slapped down again before you have to walk away? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see the light. You see, you had your time. When was it? The early 2000s? When they won everything? Three, Great time. Three, three peaks? Won it all. Three premierships in a row? Yep, so three. You, you were spoiled. Bloody hat trick. You've come to expect success. That's why your life's going well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you, you haven't been broken down. <laughs> I have. I mean, this season's rough. We're, oh, no, we're zero yeah. from seven at yeah. the moment. Well, okay, that's not great. No, uh, St. Kilda's ahead of us. Yeah, that's a bad place yeah, to be. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, but you've had you've had your you've had your moment in the sun. That's a thing, and I I don't think England fans have had a moment in the sun for some time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not an expert, uh, but I think it's been some time, and I think they've come close a few times in recent decades. So is he burnt out? Is yeah. Is H2 underscore D2 burnt out? I think H2 from hope. underscore I know, I know D2. what you mean. You, you, you're built up just to get let down. Yeah. When do you lose hope? When when do you crack the shits and go, fuck yeah. it, I can't, I can't keep doing this to myself? Yeah. 
and is that this time and this year? I think I should. Or do we want to bloody go? No, hang in there, have some hope. There's some enjoyable moments. Yeah, that's right. Maybe if you set your expectations really low. There you go. Maybe if you just like, I'm. Just, I'm this is like turning up to Nana's birthday. Yeah. I know it's going to be the same old shit. Yeah. Nana's going to, you know, tell a terrible story I've heard 17 times before. Yeah. Fucking Uncle Greg's going to get up and bloody play that fucking song he always plays, which we all fucking hate. Uh, that shithead nephew of mine's going to bloody, you know, fucking forget his ADD medication and, you know, punch the cat and it's going to be all awkward. And, but you're like, well, but I'll go along. And, and then it turns into a lovely time. Yeah, and, and you're you like, why was I so grumpy? Yeah, well, but the fact that you were grumpy in advance means you, you opened yourself up. You yeah. See, this is the thing about pessimism. Sometimes it's a good place to start from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then when things go really well, you go, oh, shit, didn't see that coming. I was surprised. Yeah. I'm glad I've invested yeah, that's right. my time into this. Yeah. So maybe, uh, HG underscore D2, you need to consider whether you need England to win the World Cup. Well, maybe just enjoy every game as it comes. Oh, there you go. That's nice. And yeah. that is what I'm trying to do with me Lions down exactly. here with the AFL. Yeah. Like, you know, we're competitive. There's some great players. There's some there's some fantastic moments. Yeah. There's some excitement. Yeah, that's right. So you could still get some excitement out of it. That's right. Like, if you like soccer, like, if you genuinely, like, you're into the sport, yeah. then don't give up on soccer. Like, fucking stick with it. Yeah. And, and you'll find some exciting moments. Yeah. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. You're trying... Yeah. Maybe you just don't build your life around it. Don't build your while, life around while it. While the World Cup's on, mm. you know, just maybe catch what games you can. Mm. You know, but maybe don't give up, you know, uh, say a hot date or, you know, or a good show on Netflix. Yeah. Um, but just, you know, just, just keep up with it. Just keep up with it. Just, yeah. just keep tabs on it and, yep. and check in. Yep. Watch an hour. Yep. Take a break. Maybe turn the game on for 20 minutes and go, fuck, we're fucking down 4-0, I might, I might just go to bed. Yeah, everyone's fucking it up, making terrible decisions. Yeah. This isn't getting any better. No. I can't keep giving. Yeah. And then... It's not all or nothing. Yeah. It's not It's not like I have to be 100% loyal or, or, or just completely disinterested. Yeah. It's not that. You can be like, you know... You can find a middle ground. Yeah. You, you, can, have, you can find a happy middle ground. You can have a vegetarian dinner on a Thursday night without going full vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you can still feel good about that. Yeah. And, uh, and and know that you bloody put in there. Yeah. Uh, what's Dan, the tech guy, up to there? I don't know. I think, I think he wanted another drink, but I'm I'm all out. I didn't pack enough in the esky. Oh dear. He's just playing with the tech gear. Yeah. But I see where you're coming from. You don't want to lose hope entirely. No. And uh, but you don't you don't want to just keep fucking giving and giving your yeah. your time and yeah. and your energy and your passion. Yeah. Just to be cut down. And if it becomes one of those just glorious, miraculous years where England does win the World Cup final, You missed it. You don't want to turn up at the pub celebration after the championship and have all your mates say, no, where the fuck have you been? You can't rock up now. Can't bandwagon. You can't jump on the bandwagon now. You've been fucking, you've been bloody, you had your head in the sand pretending, fucking pretending you don't even like football anymore. No one likes someone bandwagoning. Don't bandwagon. Don't bandwagon. Cause if you're out, you're out. That's the rule. That's worse. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, you got to watch it. Yeah, yeah. That's my fucking conclusion now. Mm. If you're English and and the World Cup mm. is on TV and it's starting, I think it's in June or some shit. Yep. You got to watch it. You got to get involved. And um, yeah, yeah. If you're a fan of the sport too, don't don't give up because uh, yeah, there's nothing worse. No. Nothing worse than just going, oh yeah, we did it, and everyone's like, you. We're bitching and crying and moaning yep. and kicking and screaming about watching it. You chose not to fucking watch it. Yep. And now you're showing up here yep. at the pub, yep. all happy and excited, like you're yep. part of the team. Yeah, we're having this great street party. We're turning over cars and setting fire to shit, and you just want to be part of it. You don't deserve to be part of it. No. Yep. You fucking jumped ship yep. before this started. You don't want that to happen. You deserted us. Yeah. yeah. No. No one wants to be that guy. No. So you got to watch it. Yep. H2 underscore D2. That's our conclusion for this. Yep. Ask advice. Should you watch the uh, World Cup uh, being English? Yes, you yeah. should. Good. Uh, look, I'll do some shout outs and then, uh, and then we're done. Okay. Uh, that will be the show. Fucking flu, I reckon. Um... Okay. What I'm just refreshing. Yeah, go on. Refresh it. Takes a second. Internet's yep. working pretty good. Yep. Uh, seven minutes ago, Gauntlet04, thank you for your subscription. 
Uh, Fallen293, thank you for your Prime subscription. I appreciate it. Mr. Underscore Freeze, thank you for your bloody Tier 1 subscription. Uh, Tohoku09, thank you for your fucking subscription. Look at Mozza, he's excited. I'm very excited. He appreciates it. Yep. Giggle Juice. Have I said... I haven't said that one. What's that? 204 bits. Yes, Giggle Juice. (laughs) Fuck yes, Giggle Juice. Thank you for that. Thank you. If someone can get Mozza... On the the topic of juice, if someone can get old Mozza a fucking vaping sponsor... Oh, yeah. That that person would be a hero. Yes, absolutely. You'd get shout-outs all the time. Big time. You'd be like fucking Aussie Man Friday show royalty. If you bring Mozza a fucking... That's true. Vaping bloody sponsor. Oh. This is fucking smug juice. I'm gonna land that plane. <laughs> Ninja Donator. Thank you. These are some great names tonight. Good names. This is exciting shit. Uh, Tinker Tom. O2. Thank you for your two bits. Chad Wico. Had I done Chad? I'd done Chad Wico. No, I did. did that you? was before Pogue someone. Pogue Mahone? Yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah, you remember Pogue? Oh, Mazza! Oh, fuck me. Pogue Mahone is bloody, that's kiss my ass in, what is it, Gaelic? It's some bloody ancient bloody Celtic language. Oh, is it? Yeah. You bloody, you're full of facts. That's where the band the Pogues got their name. You from. are Google. Yeah, well, some basically. Nights. Basically. But I won't book a haircut for you. No. No, I, I reckon anyway, if I was your Google, I'd say, book your own fucking haircut. Yeah. I don't know what you want. You'd stick up for yourself. Yeah, I would. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of the Friday show. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, We hope you got something out of it. If you didn't, that's fine too. Yep. Uh, You don't have to get anything out of it. Um, There won't be a test. No, there's no test. Yep. We're not going to do a fucking essay criteria. There's no homework. What did Aussie Man and Mozza talk about on fucking 18th of May? No, we don't give a fuck. So, uh, yeah, just thank you for tuning in. We know you could have been watching a bunch of other things, um, but you didn't. You stuck around here. And, uh, and we appreciate that shit. And uh, we'll be back. We'll be back next week as well. well. I'm thinking about doing a solo one next week just to spend some time in the chat room with you guys and answer all your shit and just banter and maybe do some gaming of some retro gaming shit. But if you think that's a crap idea, then let me know because Moz is around still. Yeah. He's about. I got nowhere to be. Yeah, and people are getting used to you. Yeah, well that's it. There's some there's some fads. Uh, yeah. Love. I'm like a dull ache in your buttock when you just learn to live with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Like this dull ache has yeah. made me a better person. That's right. It's character. Yeah, yeah, character building. Yep. So I mean let me know if it's a shit idea. If you if you're too used to Mozer and you can't let go of him and you need him every week, then I'll ask him. I'll decide on Monday or yeah. Tuesday. It may just be me next week by myself just checking in with you guys. Uh, but you're here three weeks anyway. Like three weeks on, one week off. Yeah, that's me swing. Is what I was thinking for Moz's schedule. Yeah. Like mining sites or something. Yeah. 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 So I'll, I'll keep having to think about it. Anyway, that's what we're up to here. Uh, I'll check in with all my tech gear and shit. Hopefully we've had less glitches tonight. Uh, but yeah it's fun everyone Uh, thanks thanks for joining us and uh, there's a link to the second YouTube channel somewhere under the video player or it's just called Aussie Man's Friday Show so you can follow that second YouTube channel and get a bunch of clips uh, there as well from this show that I'll upload during the week and I'm really just rambling now I've got like verbal diarrhea Um, so I don't know have you figured out the off button yet Dan yeah, he doesn't look confident. No. We've been having trouble figuring out how to turn the stream off. Yep. So usually we just sit here and wait for you to go. Yep. So if you can clear out now, everyone. Yep. Thanks for coming to the pub. Show's, it. show's over. Yep. We're done. Yep. That's <laughs> that's the end. Yep. So thank you. We're saying goodbye. We'll like shake your hand as you leave. Yep. Give you a flyer. Yep. For another, for someone else's show. I don't know anyone else on Twitch. No. Thank you for coming. Thank you. See ya. I'm out of drink. Oh, shit. I need to piss. Do you? I need to shit in a Tim Hortons. I don't. Well, maybe you do. 
It's a hell of a story. What if she just owns it? Yeah, what if it's hers? I mean, I mean, owns the story, like, proudly. Oh, right. I thought maybe... She yeah, I did that. It was a great time in my life. Yeah. I was young. Maybe she's going to, like, launch her... Maybe she thought, well, either I could do a sex tape and get famous that way, or shit in a Tim Hortons, because that'll probably get some views. It's gotten some views. Yeah, Aussie Man and Moz might talk about that in the Twitch show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very tactical. It was tactical yeah. to get attention. Yeah. In the online attention economy. Yeah. She might get a spot on Ellen. Maybe. Yeah. Bit edgy. A little bit edgy. A bit far. Ellen tends to lean towards people like prodigies and. Yeah, she's quite wholesome. Yeah. Yeah. 